Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a Marvel Snap speedrun. I'm the previous record holder. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go for it right now. Freddy, some more time. All right, we're good to go. Um, does any can anyone help me out? Welcome in everybody. Can anyone help me out? What buttons I need to press to full screen this? Because then I can switch to this overlay. We also have no game sound. It's like alt. It's like alt something. Got it. Google is my friend. All right, we're good to go. Yeah, alt enter. Thank you so much, Mason. All right, we have no game sound. So we are doing a Marvel Snap speed run from rank one all the way to rank 100 on a fresh account. I've not done this in ages. Also, we have the hot location today, Bifrost. So the only rules are that you can't spend any money on the game. That's it. Freddy broke my record. Well, Freddy's got the record. I was the previous record holder before they changed the way it works, right? Because now you get like plus five ranks. So I did it in like 12 hours 30 or so, whereas Freddy's done it in seven hours 48. We did try and beat it once, we gave up. There's a lot of RNG involved. The cards that we unlock from the reserves or whatever they call at this stage, the mystery cards is super important. Like there's so many insane cards. Like Electra is like basically the best card in the game at this point. But also I'm very interested in trying to utilize the hot location. So if we can get Forge, Hulkbuster, Multiple Man, Iron Fist, Heimdall early, we might be popping off. Similarly, if we don't, and we're just playing, playing normal stuff in a Bifrost hot location, the run might be dead. So it's going to be an interesting one to see. My first time doing it with a hot location. All right, we're ready to go. We'll get game sound after this game. Three, two, one, let's go. We're in, baby. The speed run has begun with no game sound. We're just going to spam. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Welcome in, everybody. We can play it anywhere, all right, all right. We should just only play on one location and see if we still win. Easy. We got him. That was a bit of time wasted with my uh, Star Lord positioning. I feel like I need the sound, mate, you know? I can't concentrate without it. Here we go, the Hawkeye. All right, all right, all right, whatever. No one cares. Cool. Look at us go. So Freddy's record in the tutorial is 4 minutes 58. There's a couple games in the tutorial, I believe. Now, last time I tried to beat Freddy's record, I was actually almost an hour ahead of him. With not too long left to go. Uh, well, a long time left to go, but like around the rank 30, rank 40 mark it was. I was about an hour ahead of him. But then I just started losing so many games. Like Once I got past the bots... I just bottled so many 8-cube wins. And um, also, I missed a lot of cards. But it was mainly the fact that I just was losing so much. I wasn't focused enough. I already lost like 5 seconds, I know, right? We can't lose the tutorial. It doesn't matter where we play it. Obviously, this was the worst location to play it, but it does the job. What's up, Bane? Do I like Burger? Of course. I don't think we can get game sound until the next... Uh, the next game, I think we just go straight into another game and that's when the tutorial ends. When we're like at the main menu screen. I've been wanting to do this for ages again. There's actually a big problem with creating new accounts on Google. And basically when you try and delete an account on Snap, it gives you a 30 day timer saying this will be deleted in 30 days. But 30 days is long past. It's been like 60 days since I tried to delete all my speedrun accounts and they're still not done. So I'm going to message Second Dinner to see if they can delete them for me. Would I consider myself skinny? No, definitely not. I'm overweight. But again, I went for a lovely bike ride this morning. Also, I went for a run last night. Uh, it's my longest run I've done in a couple of years. 5K, not the longest for most people, but for me, it's a nice achievement. Pretty chuffed with that. 
And yeah, my bike ride this morning, I went, um, I don't know, cycled for like an hour and 20 and then walked around for ages at like a nice forest that's near me, which I've not been to since I was a kid. And then uh, got coffee, walked around for a bit and then cycled back. It was pretty nice. So what I'm really liking about not streaming first thing in the morning, like last time I did a speed run, I just remember being so flipping tired that like when I got to, you know, the part like around rank 30, 35, I was losing so many games because I actually had to focus and play well and I was just slamming and playing terribly. Whereas like today, I've had such a lovely day of just like getting out and about, had lunch, then just had like a little bit of dinner now. Ready to go. 5k outdoors, especially lovely. Yeah, it was dark though. I did it after the stream yesterday. Finished quite late. Pretty sure it's impossible to lose this game. Even if we tried to lose, I don't think we could. All right, this is the end of the tutorial. Looks like we're ahead already. Like I say, last time I did this run, we gain we gain so much time on Freddy at the start, but at the end, Freddy just goes absolutely wild. He just went psycho when he got into the rhythm. And again, a lot of it's going to be about what cards we can get early on. We're actually, I'm particularly interested in getting multiple man. He's the money card, I think. I think it's the only real like uh, movement card because of Bifrost is hot location. Uh, you can get him pull one that's really synergizing with it. Craven is also pull one, right? So Craven is actually insane with Bifrost. Especially because we'll have Nightcrawler too. All right, tutorial's done. I think I think we just have to do this. And then it's done. My new card is great, guys. My deck is incredible. All right, I think this is the end of the tutorial. Oh! Speed Runner 69. Yeah. Yo, thanks, Josh, so much for the five dollars. Okay, we still didn't get any games done, but after this, we almost certainly will. I'm pretty sure that's where people are counting the tutorial, but I don't know, whatever. Work it out. The first time I did the run, I counted the t like this is still the tutorial, but like Darren, Darren didn't. So there's no way Freddy did this, this whole game in that amount of time. It's just not, not possible. I don't think. Am I going on strike Tuesday? Why would I? Is it like a teacher strike or something? Thanks so much, Josh, for the $5. It's very really kind of you. Greetings, dimps. Hope you're good. Whatever. I want to play the Cyclops, but it's such a waste of time to pick this back up and put Cyclops back down. Teacher strike. I mean, I won't because I'm not a teacher anymore. I'm doing a content full time. Otherwise, I would, and I absolutely support everyone striking. Big up, big up the teachers, mate. Well, a lot of friends that will be striking. A lot of former colleagues as well. Power to them, you know. We can't snap, by the way. And before you guys uh, question why I'm not snapping, snapping is not unlocked until about rank twelve, rank thirteen or so, maybe rank ten. Do you think the best Patriot list is the one we saw more in play in tournament? I think something close to that. Whether Super Scroll is actually good right now remains to be seen, right? Like Super Scroll might actually have only like been good for a week or two. Because I'm not sure Patriot Patriot mirrors are that common anymore, right? Patriot decks are weird to build, man, so I'm honestly not so sure. But yeah, definitely this kind of deck is, is solid. Alright. We're rank two, baby. We want to just upgrade everything as and when. Saves a lot of time to just upgrade stuff like this. Got ourselves Jessica Jones. Hello. Right, we also don't want to take these challenges yet. Right, let's get our gold. Do -do -do -do. Let's get some game sound in here. Wait, what are the challenges actually? That have we got the season pass? Play a match, upgrade a card, unlock a new card. Let's just play. Let's not waste time. That was this is time wasted here. So the reason we don't want to claim our challenge is because there's a challenge that appears at some point on the early season pass, which is like complete missions. Yeah, I always do the run at the end of the season. 
I wanted to do one last season the same like on the Sunday because it was like Kamartage or something. But I've had so many issues with um so many issues with making new accounts, but I I, I found a workaround. Started using the deck you were using yesterday. The movement one? Yeah, it's a juicer. I picked the wrong day, right? With the, the fact it's the hot location. Probably should have done a tweet about the hot location as well. That's what I want to start doing actually on hot location days. Putting a little tweet out of my favorite deck. Back in the day, I used to do videos on it, but that's just, they just don't perform well as, as well as my other content these days. Everyone stopped doing those decks. Those, those really. Do you guys think there's still like a market for that kind of stuff? Like, would you be interested in that kind of content? I'd be interested in knowing. My chat window overlap in the video? Oh, there must be a way to switch it off. Yeah, I, I don't think it's really much, I don't think it's really the kind of content people are looking for anymore. The problem was is like, the average watch time was so bad because people would just get the decks and leave. Twitter though, like a Twitter post with the decks is kind of nice. Because that's like, then and there, like it only needs to be relevant for, you know, 12 hours after the tweet. So we need to basically complete all our season pass missions. Because before accessing the proper season pass, there's like this fake season pass, if you like. Remember a new location that works? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't work with Holt Bust. Yeah, I'm aware. Yeah, yeah. If, if you merge like Holt Bust onto Vulture, for example, it would. But Holt Buster always counts as the energy and the card that you copied. Any advice for a newer Snap YouTuber? 200 ish followers in month 1.5. Congrats. Yeah, just try and find something that makes you stand out and be unique. It's not easy. Like titles and thought, like the the concept of it, of the video is kind of everything, right? Obviously, you can just do like the same stuff everyone else does. There's nothing wrong with just doing like deck deck guides, all this kind of stuff. But try and find like a unique deck that's you know using a card that no one else has got videos on, right? Or like, oh my god, this is not ideal. There is a rank I've lost a lot of cubes on. It's around rank seven. I'm nervous, guys. Why does it feel like I'm actually unironically losing? I'm pretty sure they always just play a card into inter eternity range on the last turn here. They're roping to just make sure they can find a, a losing line. You should mostly, yeah, bots completely until rank 30. But I'm pretty sure there's a cheating bot at like rank six or something, rank seven maybe. Whereas all the other bots throw, but there's also like a script, there's a couple scripted bots. I'm not including the scripted bot as like the cheating bot. There's a scripted bot where like you Sakara into rocks. Victory. And remember, we can't snap. Ah. Uh. to win seven matches on the season pass. So yeah, like I said, there's also a lot of RNG depending on what card you get, what cards you unlock rather. So we're actually gonna be very excited to get Craven, multiple man. What's the significance of the numbers in your name? Um, no comment. Is that, uh, it's my age. Mm -hmm. It's the year I was born in and my age at the same time. Yeah, rank 30 is the end of the bots, at least the end of the exclusive bots, I do believe.
Fortunately, I beat Iron Man. I, is it possible I lose? I lose to like Iron Man, Misty, you know, Iron Man, Quicksilver. Oh! Okay, we win. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, like, if I wasn't winning the tiebreaker here, they would have uh, not played the Quicksilver. That's my understanding. Yeah, it's the same location generation. There's just some scripted events. Alright, we have to unlock one new card and then there's another mission complete. No, it's all the locations that are in the main game are in this. Like I say, there's some scripted events where the locations are set. For example, the Sakaar one that happens around rank 13 where you draw two rocks and then you Sakaar into a rock where your opponent gets Hulk is based on the old Sakaar because they changed how Sakaar worked at one point. Where it ha it now happens at the end of your turn, but it used to happen at the start of your turn. So that's how you can tell it's a scripted event because it has like the old location scripted into it. Mr. Answer, was this about like YouTube content? Was that the question before? Yeah, just find find a like videos which stand out. Try and find like a unique um, thumbnail or title idea. Like that's where you should be starting, right? Like, rather than making a video of like, oh yeah, cool, and then deciding what the title thumbnail should be, you need to come up with like a really juicy title thumbnail concept, and then that's when you can make a really nice video that's going to stand out and get a lot of views. Like, the idea is everything, and there's so much competition on Snap, right? Like, don't do what everyone else is doing. Like, don't do patch notes video, for example, because everyone and their nan does them, and even my patch notes video perform horrifically badly. Like, just try and do something which is going to help you stand out. Which is easier said than done, right? But like, you can just literally sit in the deck builder and like, oh, no one's made a deck with this card. Like, a video I did about three weeks ago now was on Rogue when no one was using Rogue. And that video did super, super well, right? Because people are like, oh, damn, I want to see a video about Rogue. That's cool. Right. It's another victory, of course. These ones are all guaranteed to make you feel good when you start. You have to unlock one new card, I believe, I said, right? For the uh, next season pass challenge. And I need to remember to click the challenges here in the top right, rather than like go to the menu and there. It's just inefficient to do so. Live. Live from the Daily Bugle. How many attempts? Um, I don't know, maybe like four, but I've only got to rank 100 once when I, I think. A lot of the time I just give up. Maybe three, three or four. I'm pretty sure I only hit rank 100 once the other times I gave up. Because like, there's so much RNG involved, right? Like if you just miss the cards that you're looking for, you're done. But I set the record before, I had, I did have the original record and I still do hold the original record. No one ever beat my OG record which was before they added the extra cube gains, the extra rank gains. So like, for example, when you hit rank 80, previously you would go to 81, but now you go to 85. So before that change, I had the uh, the record. Uh-oh, that's not ideal, is it? We didn't think that one through too hard. Good thing they're throwing. I am Iron Man. Scripted throw, please. Pretty please. Jackson? No! Uh! Oh my god, this was so close, guys. But we did it. Well, Freddy's record is 7 hours, 48 minutes. My pre my record before they like reduce the amount of cubes you need was like eleven hours or something like that. So we're aiming for like seven hours. Alright, this is the challenge done. 
Unlock a new card challenge. Complete a daily mission. Yep. Done. See? Speed. Alright, let's take out the cards which are green already. Ah. Let's not waste too much time. The deck doesn't really matter that much. We just don't want to be getting boosters for like the green cards like that we're not actually going to use for a while, right? I think my deck track is not working. Is that right? This didn't update. Rip. Makes sense because I'm using a different... Oh, no, it did. It did update. Oh, it didn't. I don't know. Let's see if I can sort that out. Will I use Blue Marvel? It really depends, man. It really depends on what other cards you unlock. Like, the ideal kind of deck is probably going to have Blue Marvel in, yeah? Oh, God. We made the deck so much worse. We skipped a whole bloody turn. Still can't snap, remember? What does it say up here? Win to collect cosmic cubes. Did you guys know that they were cosmic cubes? The cube's power unlocks at rank 10. Cosmic cubes? Hmm. I didn't know that one. And also the fact that we've got the hot location, the featured location rather, makes it even more kind of interesting because... Oh. Pretty sure that, again, they're scripted to lose still. Unless this is the one they're scripted to win, there is a bot around this mark, which is a cheating bot. Looks like it might be this one. Yeah, we might have them still with the Iron Man. I am Iron yep. Man. Nope. We lost. Uh-oh, we did skip a whole turn, but I'm pretty sure this might... I always lose one game around rank seven every time. So I'm pretty sure last time I did a speed run, I literally just skipped this game. I just forfeited because you can't drop cubes at this rank. But I also don't like the fact that we have so many high cost cards. I'm pretty sure last time I, uh, my, well, the last speed run attempt I did, I just forfeited. I retreated on, on rank seven. Because you always lose on rank seven. It's the, and every other time it's so free. Script, kind of unironically though. So this isn't a scripted event, but this is a cheating bot. They have Daredevil Vision on turn six and they, if they can beat you, they will. Whereas all the other bots have Daredevil Vision on turn six and if they can lose, they will. May, I, I'm not sure if they have to play a card though. I'm, I'm not sure how that works and if they have to spend all their energy. I'm also not sure on that. I expect to see you play... To see you play move again today with the feature location. Yeah, well, if we hit multiple man, we'll definitely be putting it in the deck. Same with Craven. But it all depends on if we unlock them. There's a lot of RNG involved in these speedruns. The best cards we're looking for and like not considering the feature location are Electra, Angela. Bishop is okay. I think pretty overrated though. I can't actually even bloody win the right, can I? Or we can take Hawkeye if we want. Hawkeye I actually played for quite a while, if I remember correctly though. So to keep winning matches, let's just keep summing games. Now this is Freddy's record. Freddy's the world record holder. It's a, it's rank rank on it's like this formatted kind of weird. So rank ninety is here, and then rank one hundred is seven four eight. 
This is giving me trauma from when I first started. Hey, Queen's Forever. Guys, if you're watching on YouTube, I'd really appreciate liking the stream. The last uh, speed run I did on YouTube performed super well. Also, by the way, I spent a long time on this thumbnail. I hope you like it. So if you could give the YouTube stream a like, it really does help out a lot, and I would really appreciate it. Especially, I don't have stature. But yeah, I've seen the deck. I'm going to try the deck without stature. I think the deck will still be good without stature, basically, right? Stature is definitely nice in it, but I don't think it's like must have. Because uh, Angela is so good with Nightcrawler and Jeff, and that deck's not playing Angela. I saw Freddy playing it. Uh, Harry playing it, rather. So yeah, Electra I think is the best card in pool one. Angela is also right up there. I am Iron Man. I don't have to think about my plays. They're scripted to lose, apart from that one rank seven guy. Give you the like. Thanks so much. Watch Chad Pulse. What a Chad. So I've got a couple snacks I've come prepared this time. I have my coffee, which is almost done. I have a bottle of water. I have a very small apple. And I have a yogurt. That's it though. Victory. All right, looks like we're gonna start rank 10 slightly off the pace. Do you know what you're going to build as your progress? Well, it really depends what order we unlock stuff in. I tend to actually like... I, I think it's a bit of a bait to go, like, too... Zooey early on. And I actually just think, like, Iron Man Hulk is kind of the way to go early on. Hey, I can only type seven TV emotes. <laughs> Jesus. That's a name. Hey, Hiku. Raid time? Who raided? I can't see my software, Soz. Please, if anyone raids or subs, let me know, because my dashboard is all scuffed right now. Harry raided? Holy shit. Holy shit, 558 viewers. Jesus Christ. What a chat, Harry! Thank you so much. My guy always supporting me. I'm lucky to have you, mate. I really do appreciate it. Guys, welcome in everyone from Harry Stream. My name's Speckyman. Or as Harry likes to call me, JC or Joseph. We are doing a Marvel Snap speedrun. As you can see, I'm speedrunner 69. We are about to hit rank 10. But as you can see, we're about 30 seconds behind the pace so far. Not ideal. We should have just... Cons we needed to retreat this one game, man. Last time I tried to beat this record, I was about an hour ahead of Freddy from rank uh, at rank 40 or rank 30 maybe but then i really tanked so i'm feeling confident yeah fresh account the world record is here four hours seven hours 48 minutes i am the previous record holder the legacy holder from when the but i'm no longer because you know they changed the increments now when you go from 79 to 80 previously you would go to 81 but now you go to 85 before that change happened i was the record holder all right, so we're 57 seconds behind the pace on rank 10. That's fine. Whatever. All right, one more match to win and then season pass mission is done. Shocker. So these are some of the scripted events. Yeah, it's free to play. You can't spend any money. That's basically the only rule. I'm, I'm playing on a hot location day today, which might not favor us, to be honest. If we hit multiple man and Craven. Woo! I actually wanted to do a speedrun last month when the hot location was um, uh, um, uh, Kamal Taj. But I've had loads of issues getting access to my speedrun accounts. It's a bit scuffed. As you can see, this one's super quick because this guy is a full-on bot. This is a scripted one. Groot, we need to get our heads in the game. <laughs> That's epic, guys. We can't snap. Snapping is going to unlock pretty soon. Clear 
So this is where it introduces you to the retreat concept. I don't even need to play anything because I'm a bo- Oh my god. <laughs> oh snap, that was close. I was worried. My life flashed before my eyes just now. What's a speed run? It's doing it's pl completing a game as quickly as possible. Me, Dara, and Freddy have all done quite a few of these. Maybe Freddy's only done bloody one, I don't know. Win with Spectrum. Alright, we need Spectrum. See you, Hulk, for the moment. You'll be back. Right, what else can we put in? What else can we put in? Uh, Nightcrawl over Misty Knight. Sure. Wolf Spain over Punisher. Sure. Shocker over Medusa, just because we want to get the skin on it. That'll do. We want to get the common upgrades, right? We don't want to be sinking boosters into, like, these cards that we, we don't actually want. Right, this is a scripted loss, guys. We cannot win this one. We'll try it by playing the rocks. Because this one, the Sakaar shows up and it plays a rock and they get Hulk. So I guess we were supposed to, I should have played this, the Quicksilver. I guess I'm supposed to play the rocks to the right. Because I'm always losing this lane. Should play Quicksilver, innit? Rip. What a donut. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really... A deck doesn't actually matter at this point in the game, right? It's just, like, a waste of time to spend too long thinking about it. We just want to put cards... Put Spectrum in a deck and win two games of Spectrum. Like, all the bots we basically play against are scripted to lose. Or not scripted, but they're programmed to lose. They're like the cheating bots, but in reverse. With the exception of Rank 7. Rank 7 has a random cheating bot. Fun fact. Can you tell I've done this before, guys? Well, you can see here I'm between rank 10 and rank 20. Yeah! Let's go, baby! What a win! Shame I played Quicksilver, though. What a waste of time that was. Okay, I think that's the end of all the scripted ones. Now it's just normal shitty bots. We have lost a couple games against bots at this point. So I think they stop... Like, around now is when they stop being auto-lose. I don't know exactly when. I think they just sneak in a few, right? They sneak in... It, like, most of them are auto-lose bots. Where if they have a play that loses on six, they make it. But there's a few... They sneak in a few legit ones. Welcome in, Lucian. Welcome in, everybody. Love to have you guys here. Uh, I mean, the record is 7 hours 48, so hopefully about 7 hours. Oh snap. oh, snap. We also can try and do the classic, like, get the bot to snap on us thing. Also, the way bots also kind of changed recently. Fun fact. Where they can actually run from you more often. Now, my understanding is the bot should snap turn 5 and I'm down in two locations. The reason they might not is because I'm so far ahead to the right here. Or maybe they just don't snap at this stage in the game, I don't know. I'm at 7 months at 45. Yeah, but bear in mind when you're at this level, it's much easier to get infinite. Lord Jesus! Have mercy. I think we lost mid, guys. Just a hunch.
Well, we don't queue into Galactus because we're limited to only playing against other pool one players, which is exactly why it's gonna it's doable in like seven hours, 48 minutes. And why I'm saying it's easy to hit infinite on a fresh account that it is to hit infinite on the account you always play on. Matchmaking in Marvel Snap is based on collection level and hidden MMR. So actually, that's why like if the most important part of the speed run is between rank 30 and 40, because if we're losing quite a lot of games, our hidden MMR falls, which then means it's going to take longer for us to uh, like get to the point where we're only queuing into bots again, because we want our hidden MMR to get super duper high. All right, chapter one, completed it, mate. What's chapter two? Upgrade a card to rare or better. I also think it says make a new deck or something, right? Okay, any cards which are common we want to put in. It's taking too long. You guys impressed? Pre-build the deck on another account. That's actually very big brain, yeah. Have a little spreadsheet ready. Yeah, I mean, collection quality could have been a good idea. It's not too important. I'm just trying to like min max a little bit though. And I'm pretty sure this, this stage in the game is the best time to do it because like the games are never gonna get easier, right? It does look like the hot location hasn't been an impact yet, but now we see it. Maybe this is the sign of things to come. And obviously a lot of this this speedrun is taken up by the Sentinel animation. At least five minutes of it, I reckon. Colossus didn't move. Opponent snapped. Yeah, Vulture's pull too. But we can get um Craven and Multiple Man and Hawkbuster and all this stuff. They retreated? Victory. What kind of bot retreat? See, this is a change. They never used to retreat. They would always play this out. Don't bots always retreat if it's unwinnable? They do now, they never used to. Madge Nito. Madge Nito. <laughs> What's up, Feldy? All 
All right, it does look like uh, we're now at the serious part of the bots. We've got retreating bots and Bifrost is showing up. It's probably like showing us that this mark, the previous game was like the mark when the game start becoming more like serious, right? The fact that Bifrost is showing up and we had a retreat bot. Yeah, bots used to just give eight cubes exclusively. I think it's actually nice for the speed run that they don't anymore because it makes it more difficult. But one interesting thing is when Freddy hit this, was he still playing against retreat bots? Because was he were retreat bots a thing? Because if they weren't, you could actually say that this is not the record, right? Because his speed run is kind of different. It stands on its own. It's similar to my previous score. And you could say that it is still the record though, but you could make a definite argument to say that it's not. I don't know when he did it. Actually, I have the tweet. No, I don't know. It. it was quite a while ago. It was a couple of months back. Thought about moving the Nightcrawler as well. It's very possible we lose from here. Oh, snap! Now, the track is not working, unfortunately. Showing my old, uh, showing the original deck. It's because it's probably because I'm on a fresh account. Yeah, I just about remember to snap. Thanks, Warm. Last bloody second. We can't forget to snap, but it's also not optimal to just be snapping on turn one all the time. Which has been a tactic of mine I've done before because I'm like, well, I don't want to forget. Right, we're almost at the first mystery card. We'll build a more serious deck in a moment. Once we get this first mystery card. Don't want to waste too much time in the deck builder, basically. So we want to stack the lanes. Stacking the lanes is a good tactic to get the bots to snap on you. Because you only want to be ahead in one location, basically. Bots will snap on you when they're ahead in two out of three locations going into turn five. Unless you're winning the the location you're winning, you're winning by like an absolute mile. Snapping on turn one is the best strategy to win eight cubes. Not really. But no one's going to retreat against you. Bots don't retreat on snaps. They always stay in. And like while I, I, I kind of see your point, it's more so that snapping on turn one is not going to be optimal because if I end up retreating, I'm just going to be wasting a cube quite often. Rank 30, we, we play bots until rank 30. They will retreat on snaps, really? All right, well, let's snap them. I'll take your word for it. Hawkeye is really good against bots because it's like hidden stats, right? Like it's one stat here, so they might snap on us, but actually it's secretly more. But they have nothing left. So yeah, not surprised that they don't go for it. We also should have just, we could have Iron Man Limbo. Like Iron Man into Limbo is a really nice play against bots. Oh, sorry, Iron Man into an empty location. We might actually lose this one if they try to if they play to win it. It's very possible. Spectrum gives us a couple stats here. Yeah. I am Iron Man. Opponent snapped. Thank you, bro. Let's go. Let's go! So as you can see, there's actually a real skill to this. Even though we're playing bots, there's a lot of skill involved and there's a lot of risk. 
It's about like calculating the risk of each game, trying to get your opponent to snap on you, but not like overdoing it, right? Not over egging it and then leaving yourself with egg on your chin. The first card is, oh my God, Lizard. The flipping n newly nerfed Lizard. Horrifically bad. Mystery variant, Cyclops, hello. Can't wait not to use that. Wait, Spectrum still hasn't got upgraded. We'll put white. Uh, we'll put Gamora in here. Oh, I just realised that we've got a mission that says complete daily missions. So I need to start using my gold on daily mission refills. So that's a really bad start on the mystery variant. On the, not mystery rents, on the um, random card unlocks. A lot of RNG on the run is going to come down to what cards you unlock and how early. Usually you end, uh, you run out of tokens, sorry, credits, at around collection level 120. Which means that there's quite a few pull one cards you're never actually going to get. What's current record? We've lost two. We lost the scripted game and the... Cheating bot game, which happen every run. Oh, snap. But yeah, you can you can see our current speed. Don't let me forget to do the split when we hit rank twenty as well. Why bother yourself with missions? Because one of those this you need to un you need the missions to unlock cards. These are the season pass missions, and you can only get to the second season pass when you complete the season pass challenges. The quicker you do season pass challenges, the quicker you unlock new cards. The quicker you unlock new cards, the better your deck becomes and therefore the more wins you're gonna get. Are right, we gonna on the left here. It's a bit risky. It's trying to get the, the opponent to snap on us. It's very risky. We could have maybe just gone Iron Man mid. And they might still have snapped. Alright, seven stats needed mid. Well, Iron Man's gonna grow. We can just go Wolfsbane here. Controversial plays. Tense guys, you got you got to risk it. Why you quit when? Um, I mean, I played the game for five years. It was time to move on. My views are a lot better with snap. And wait, we lost. I thought I won the left, Mister Fantastic. You wank. Ah, uh. flip. We lost eight cubes, guys. What the flip in heck? See, this is the risk, right? I tried to get too greedy and chase the opponent snapping on me. And as a result, I lost eight cubes. It does happen. It's going to continue to happen also. No, I could have missed you. I did the sandbar. Oh, okay. This is not good. We need to... So, we're now at the point of the game where we need to, like, slam cards, but we also do need to start considering our players a little bit more. And we also maybe should build a slightly more serious list. This one is a pile I'm using to try and farm boosters. Nightcrawler scary. Nightcrawler into Samba. Could have gotten Nightcrawler first to win Sambo, right? I kind of predicted that they wouldn't even move it there. They always move, bots always move Nightcrawler as soon as they possibly can. Speci, why do you act like a knob at times? Hmm. <laughs> uh, hmm. 
Can you give me some more context? Like when I called Mr. Fantastic a, a wanker? Is that the kind of knob behavior we're talking about here? Kneel before Galactus, guys. White Tiger's scary. I guess it's not that scary. Yeah, you yell at your viewers at times. I like you, do really great player, but sometimes tough, just get tilted easily. Well, it's kind of fun to yell at viewers sometimes, right? But also, I'm a human. I stream this game like five hours a day. I'm also I'm not gonna be perfect every day, right? But I'm unapologetically me. And also, if I yell at a viewer and it's unwarranted, I would tend to apologize afterwards. Ban him. No, there's no need. It's not not that deep. Right, new deck, new deck. Right, let's build that. She the juicer. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? I mean, Iron Man's just good, right? This will do. But yeah, I do want to try and get tilted less often. I agree. Thank you for the feedback. Like, particularly when I'm playing uh, tournaments, I get tilted too easily. But, mate, if I, if I want to win, oh my god, I actually... Do get very tilted. You guys should see me play FIFA. No, we can't pause the run. This is one sitting. We'll, we'll, we will quit the run if we're not, like, if it's not looking like we're going to make the time. I will quit. I'm not sure this was the best of decisions, really, to play the Sentinel here. Did I play Rocket League? Uh, yeah, not for a long time, though. Rocket League's, like, always a game that I go through phases of. Like, I don't play it for a long time, then I go back to it. I'm, like, above average at Rocket League, but it's such a difficult game, man. It's incredible. Hybrid spitting knowledge, not gonna lie. I feel you, but remember you're a role model with a big platform. Bruv, please shut the fuck up. Like, I'm trying to be polite, but you're just being a wanker now. I just don't really, like, I don't want your fucking lecture, dude. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm trying to be polite, but come on, dude. Come on. Like, bruv, I just explained to you, I'm a human being. I stream this game five hours a day. I'm not always going to be perfect. My goodness. I also explained to you, sometimes it's actually quite fun to shout at chat and muppets in chat like yourself. Ooh. For fuck's sake, mate. This was supposed to be the juicer deck, guys. This deck is not popping off! We need Iron Man. Iron Man's too strong. Iron Man is actually OP. How long you play Snap? Uh, uh, since the first day of closed beta. So, like, almost a year now, which is crazy to think about. White Tiger Odin sucks. I mean, it's not the best. I think it's fine. But yeah, I actually do tend to agree that I prefer... 
Hulk Iron Man stuff at this stage. Like Iron Man is so strong. I took Iron Man out of the deck and I lost on Iron Man, right? Miss the lobby strikes again. Mad funny though. Yeah, exactly right. It's like you gotta find the balance between being polite, being kind, being all this. And being entertaining. Oh, I can't believe how many games we're losing, man. It is heartbreaking. Oh lord. I feel like they move every card they possibly can. I think that's just how bots work. If a bot can move something, they will bloody move it. I don't know what to do, but let's try this. I can't believe it, guys. I can't fucking believe it. We are absolutely choking, right? What is going on with this deck? Why is it so bad? This is horrible. Usually this is so easy. This is my worst run ever so far. I might just start again, mate. Honestly, I can't start again. I literally cannot start again because it's so hard to get um, access to new accounts. Oh my god. It's fine. Last time I did this run, I was an hour ahead of Freddy at rank 40. So Freddy's run also was not that smooth. Like, we're probably going to beat him to rank 20 still. Maybe not. Can I just log in as guest? No. I have, like, a guest account already logged in on my PC. Maybe I could, like, make a new Steam account. That might be a good workaround. Especially AI of Agatha is different than normal bot. Yeah, I'm aware. I've done... I was the previous world record holder of the speedrun. I really do this. Mm, probably shouldn't have played anything where right, because of Bar Sinister. Isn't just login with... Yeah, but Google have made it so you have to have a phone number to verify your account. That's has to be a different phone number every time. It's a bloody pain in the ass. Yeah, it's a real pain in the ass. I think what we've got to stop doing is chasing the 8-cubers. That's been, like, what's punishing us. We've been playing super suboptimally to try and get 8-cube games. And we've choked as a result. I think if we can just go level with Freddy at rank 20, we're going to be happy because it's been a slow start. But I think we can still be ahead of him. Like I say, he really was not that quick. To fight for the left. Better to win four cubes fast than lose a single eight cuber. Yeah, kind of. Kind of true.
They probably play this out. It should be a win. When you get to pick a free Series 3 card, that's a really good question. I have no idea. I have a feeling we can't on the speed run. Cats or dogs and why? I like frogs. Oh, here we go. Second mystery card. Please not lizard again. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's like the worst card in the whole game. For goodness sake. This run is not popping off so far. We've dropped a bunch of cubes and we have low rolled the first two mystery cards. We got Domino and Lizard. Snap. I need to improve my skills of picking up and placing cards. I'm too slow. Guys, if you're watching on YouTube, please give the stream a like. It helps a lot. We have... 43 likes. Can we get to 69 likes right now? Please help a brother out. I spent ages on my thumbnail. Lizard's still good. I'm not so sure it's good against bots, mate. Lizard is good in the right decks. Well, Lizard is only one point, guys, in a lot of situations. Bots tend to fill the board quite a lot. It's a zoo meta at this stage in the game, right? Doesn't seem like the best bet to me. Drop the like, thanks so much. Fifty eight, awesome. We needed that chat. See, it's not it's not all plain sailing this run. It has some ups and downs. But that's what we need, mate. That is what we need. And they've made it harder recently too. Our guys were at 67 likes. Can we get to 69? <gasps> Can we get some hypers in the chat, please? Some praises, all of that. I need all your energy. Is this a speed run? Yeah, I, I mean, I've done it before myself. I had the previous record before uh, they changed the amount of cubes you gained after hitting a milestone. But Freddy has the record since then. At seven hours, 48 minutes. That's what like all the splits here are Freddy's world record. Yeah, I'm aware like Lizard is good in certain decks, but it's not going to be good against bots that are filling the board a bunch. And, like, I'm pretty sure Hulk Iron Man is just the way to go at this stage as well. Face the might of Opponent snap, For some reason, I thought Bifrost was in play here, but it's not, is it? Do we Iron Man? Put ourselves to eight. <sighs> Tricky one, innit? Do quite like the Polaris line. Can I have a world recce for Brecky? I'll do my best. I am Iron Man. Let's go. Oh, 
All right, we we're on a bit of a roll. We're on a little bit of a roll, mate. Victory. Hey, McMorty. Yeah, I'm supposed to be going live around this time every day. 4.20 UK time is supposed to be the start time. I might just push it back a little bit to 5. But we'll see. Still a little bit undecided. Thanks, guys, for your energy and for being here. Also, um, if you guys haven't heard the news, I'm trying to set up a Marvel Snap tournament slash league system. I have big plans for it, and um, so far it's progressing well. It looks like... It looks likely that the first event is going to happen in two weeks' time. But I'm going to start off slow and not build up too much. And I need to, like, find people to work with still. Well, Jeff, Jeff doesn't do weekends. Jeff is usually live at this time during the week. I suppose we will Iron Man the right, maybe. Yeah, 18. Seems like it's winning. Yeah, channel points, I do, you're right. Do they have any plans on like clans in the game? They've cut they've mentioned something way down the line. I'd love to be part of said league tournament. Yeah, so to start off with, the plan is going to be, um, I am going to do invitationals where I'm going to be like trying to get content creators and top players playing. However, I also do want it to become almost like an ecosystem where there's also the possibility for me to be inviting people in the community and I like, have open tournaments. And then if you win the tournament, like people that win the tournaments, the community open tournaments, they can qualify for the league, for example. But that's like... I need to start slow, right? So we're starting off with invitationals. I also then like will like to host some community tournaments mixed in there as well. Oh my god. I mean J Jotunheim surely helps us win it. I am Iron Man. It's very scary. Is that a loss? This by one. Fuck. That was a really heartbreaking loss. Lose by one in two lanes. See, the bots are getting smarter, man. This is a cheating bot. Yeah, yeah, I'm planning on keeping this slot for sure. That's that's the plan. I was doing mornings for a long time. Um, and the stream, like this, in terms of stream um, success, numbers, it was good. It was really good. The problem I have with it is like this morning, for example, I got to go flip in. Is this even a bot, guys? Did we just queue into this guy? Sussy. What kind of bot snaps on turn one? If they say hello back, they're not a bot, right? It's not further, they didn't move Nightcrawl on turn six? Yeah, it's interesting. Maybe that's a sign of a cheating bot, right? Because a normal bot wouldn't play it like that, right? A normal bot would actually move the Nightcrawl as soon as they could. I thought bots can say hello back. Nah. I don't think so. Oh, hello, sunshine. Relies on where Iron Man goes. Nice. Oh, 
always eight cubes, baby. Speed run of 69. Mate, that took precious time to type that and think of it as well. Creative genius. I have no regrets. I'm a bit heartbroken at the losses we've had, but we can bounce back. Someone did break my record, Silvos, because they changed the amount of cubes it takes to hit infinite. So the record is now like five hours shorter than my previous one or four hours, something like that. Oh. Damn, that's hot. Ah, that's hot. Yeah, I've done all the, I, uh, I don't think I've done all the season pass missions on the main, but I'm, I'm not going to be far away from doing so. As I'm at 100 on the season pass already. In the last three days, I got three variants and all of them were fucking pixels. Oh my god, congratulations. That's epic. Did you get the hell cow one? That's the best. It's risky because Iron Man beats us, but they'll Iron Man on five if they have it, most likely, probably, hopefully, maybe. Yeah, I've got I've got Killmonger picks for myself. I'm a proud owner. They didn't move Night. Did they move Nightcrawler yet, chat? No, the deck tracker is just my deck tracker is just not. It's showing the original deck because it's not linked with my account. I think there might be a way to sort it out, but um. I'm not willing to like waste too much time. Fog. All right. Victory. Two more matches for the challenge. Oh, guys watching on YouTube, by the way, they've added, uh, like, Let's seven, t uh, not seven TV support, I don't think, but, um, better Twitch TV support. So if you want to see some better Twitch TV emotes, you can install it. And it does work on YouTube now, which is pretty cool. There's a lot of emotes now available in, on YouTube. Alright. Sentinel comes down. So yeah, guys, two weeks today is the plan for the first... Little tournament. That's what I'm gonna try and do anyway. But there's so much stuff to work out still. Might be three weeks. The other chats can see each other because of the restream, but I repost stuff. They're pretty solid here, right? Very solid. Well, it's a shame they cop blocked us a bit. Left lane secure though, apart from Spectrum is the threat to tie it. The Iron Man is not very impressive here. Unless we just say mid is secure, which it isn't. Don't really like this, but. I'm glad they played mid already. We might even get a snap from them here. They might snap.
Jeff is worth 6k, but there's so many other things that are also worth 6k. Jeff is very, very good. But there's so many good cards coming out. I'm personally now hoarding because like High Evo comes out next month, which I definitely very much want. But more so, I'm going to buy all the cards in June with um, the Spider Ham uh, and all the, the other Spider Man cards, which are like move cards. Yeah, and don't forget with Jeff, like, it's kind of easy to get series... Uh, not, not easy, but it's kind of likely to get Series 4 cards out of uh, Collector Caches as well, right? Eventually. Yeah, May and June is pretty nuts. No doubt. Mr. Fantastic early is kind of bad because it stops your opponent snapping because you put points into three locations. I guess with Bifrost it's not so bad though. Yeah, I would wager high evo is going to be solid. Most likely you're not going to just be playing like an all-in deck with it, but like a bit of a hybrid. Something like Thanos might work. I've seen some people talking about on Twitter. No Iron Man, that's good to know. No Bishop either. Where is the Hulk, please? Flip. Scary. Oh, I thought I had another turn. I thought this was the last turn, rather. Come on, the Hulk. Oof. Oh my god. I'm not gonna run, but... Oof. should have. It feels so wrong to run, right? It's not looking good. It's been a bad run so far. Like I say, last time I did a run at rank 30, I was like an hour ahead of Freddy. Secure. Bag has been secured. Avengers! Assemble. Yeah, I'm very much of the opinion that Nebula is giga, giga, giga good. I think Nebula is like near auto included in every deck. Five, seven, fourteen, so no. Swordmaster might have been more, Swordmaster Wolfsbane. Swordmaster Wolfsbane was thirteen. It was more. I am Iron Man. We could add another big card like Abomination maybe to this one. Wait, there's another turn? What the? I knew that. Yeah, never lose in a couple of days, exactly. Oh, 
Yeah, Killmonger armor meta is very much coming. Why is there no speedrun to full collection? Why do you think? I don't think it's doing a speedrun of three months is going to be a very competitive or popular thing to do. Alright, is that the 10 matches one challenge done? Yep. We're snapping the point to Rock's turn one. Yeah, so so far the two mystery cards we've got have both sucked. Yeah, we probably can refresh our missions as well. I don't think it makes a difference. If we do that now or later now like uh, early on you don't want to do it too soon because there's challenges which like complete missions so. we also want to be losing mojo world so they bloody snap on us we have to start stacking it we want them to play into mojo enough where they snap like two cards into mojo it would be so nice oh <gasps> pretty sure they should snap because they're ahead of us in two locations going into turn five I think this is a snap from the bot. Hmm. I am Iron Man. Opponent snapped. Probably just should have played the Sentinel right to be a bit safer. You can see there's a bit of anti-synergy with JG and Iron Man as well. Victory. Uh, you're not allowed to spend money, so that's not an option for the speedrun. Alright, new card time. Come on. Electra! Honestly, might be good. Seems really good, actually, now that she's six stats. I think we just get rid of JJ and put Enchantress in. Oh, mate. I think that's a, think that's a really good pull. That might be an absolute juicer. Yeah, we could also put Lizard in with Enchantress, but, like, the amount of Iron Man's doing the rounds at the early stages. And now that she's a six body, that's a really exciting one. That's a really exciting one. We could also potentially do another speed run tomorrow if we don't don't do it this time. Didn't think about the Mr. Fantastic situation, did I? Rip. Because of Enchantress.
It's basically impossible to tell if Mike will have moved already. I have no bloody idea. Haven't the foggiest. Yes, we're in tiebreaker. Mr. Fantastic doing the business too. We'd have lost otherwise. Let's go! Four cubes! Come on. I want to be like level with Freddy at least going into rank 20. Like I said, I have... This is the period of the run where he was actually very slow. So even though it's gone badly for us, we've still got a lot of leeway. Throne room is a weird one. Hulk. Gonna be the money card there. I really like playing Wolfsbane in the Nightcrawler location. One to a hundred. Oh, it's happening. I mean, I've done it before. Could have made more sense to Mr. Fantastic the right, actually, because two points in the Nidavalli makes such a little difference, right? I'm actually a little bit worried about this one if we don't hit the Iron Man. Uh, if we don't hit the Hulk. I don't have that many stats mid. I think the Mr. Fantastic positioning was a big mistake. We're fine here. We don't lose. Even if they hope we win. I am Iron Man. They won't snap because I'm ahead in two out of three. They ran. Victory. I guess they just didn't have a card. Yeah, right. They didn't have anything which could possibly win. Oh, shit. Uh, Freddy has not been playing recently, but he was prepping for a flesh and blood tournament, which he played in this weekend. So I would expect him to be making content again soon. He's actually in the States right now for a flesh and blood tournament, which is like a in-person paper card game. He's on the pro tour for that game. So it's also just nice to have breaks and stuff, right? I spoke to him the other day. He's feeling pretty refreshed after his break and looking forward to getting back into it. At least I think. Don't quote me on that. Speedrun on TVA is actually a very big brain. If it's ever... If it's ever hot. Would it still be valid? I think it would have an asterisk next to it. But yes, it would, I guess, still count. Any tournaments? There's not, unfortunately, I don't believe. Ah, uh, there might be like an EGL one. I'm not gonna be playing in any though, because I'm doing the speed run instead. This is gonna take a long last time. We can try the Iron Man mid. It's a little on the risky side though. We could also just Iron Man right to secure the bag. I'm gonna go for the Iron Man mid. I think it's fine, like the Stark Tower buffs. Systems go. Cool. Victory. Uh, if you check my Discord call, I have a very helpful channel on my discord which li lists all the community tournaments going down i didn't set it up myself broad set it up 
for the snap fan discord and yeah i'm gonna it just there's a channel on my discord that also shows them all that's how i'm finding all of them i mean i imagine tva will be a hot location at some point just like at some point i would wager Ego will be a hot location, but the game's gonna exist for a long period of time, right? What other Krakoa? Oh god. Please no. Uh, the main card I'm hoping to pull is gonna be Electra. I obviously want to miss the Fantastic Mid, but I want my guy buffs. Electra, I think, is the biggest money card. But also with the hot location, Craven sounds saucy. Should have gone Wolfsbane to the left, right? Because I can move the Nightcrawler out. This was a misplay. Can I get some praises in the chat, ladies and gentlemen? Oh my god. 50-50 win. We lost otherwise. Oh, the praises came through from chat. Did mine work? I don't think it worked, did it? I didn't capitalize it correctly. Does that work? Let's go. 50 50 win for eight. Was it this for eight? Mr. God! Electra! White Queen's not terrible. I actually quite like the sound of White Queen. But for what? Or a Misty Knight can go. Let's actually get rid of Quicksilver. White Queen sounds kind of legit, right? Uh, YouTube has now got better Twitch TV support, which means you can get like third party emotes. You can check it out. There's a lot of people on Twitch who also have, have that. I mean, this looks like a snap. Blade decks just always suck. Like, what blade decks that is. Electra with an A. She's like the best pull one card in pull one meta because everyone plays one drops in Kazar and Blue Marvels. And you can just play her on six, and she's so much swing, right? WQ is better than Enchantress, White Queen. Um, I disagree. Enchantress is fucking yacked. Six stats. I'm playing both, though. White Queen gives us info, and like also like means that I don't care if I miss like my Hulk. Because that's been a problem for us right, quite frequently. White Queen seems like a really nice idea. I'm going to try and keep with the mid-range stuff until we have like loads of zoo options. I think the zoo stuff too early is actually a big bait. Nice. Should be a win for us. Six swing to the left means we still lose the left. But we get six swing mid as well, so it should just be a win. It's actually a lot of points, but we win. Hibis though. Victory. So as you can see, Freddy also struggled rank 10 to 20. We, we did not add a smooth run. It's, get, it, it's been a lot smoother recently, right? We're in the swing of things. It, a lot of it is about the deck you're playing. It's important to find that moment when you need to switch the sweatbag deck. And I think this is the deck. I actually think that there's a big... Um, from seeing Dara and Freddy, well, not Freddy so much. I've never really watched, I didn't watch Freddy's run, but Dara's done a few. I feel like people overestimate the zoo decks, especially at this stage in the game. I actually think like just mid-range Hulk, Iron Man is the source. 
You obviously don't have too many options at this point, in fairness, though. But yeah, this line, this Enchantra seems like a really, really good pull. So we can't complain too much about the RNG. I'm really happy we've got such an early Enchantress. I think Enchantress will say as a 4-6. I think it's a really awesome change. I'm a very big fan of it. Um, I have only split Enchantress once. I have like 50 boosters. That means in almost a year of playing this game, I've got like 200 boosters on Enchantress. Tells you how much I rated the card before. She needed two points. I think it's such a good change. I think I, I think she'll set for six. I think it's really good because there's also like a lot of options you can do with Bast. Okay, this is pretty good. This is a tricky one, isn't it? I think I actually just take the Mr. Fantastic. I don't want to give them Mr. Fantastic, but then I might give them Enchantress on my Iron Man. God. We definitely have to take the Fantastic to tie the right. And we have to take the Iron Man left. Phew, what a high roll. For us, that is. Well, let's hope they play left. Play left, dude! Please. Hopefully it's not a cheating bot that can somehow see our hand and then they don't play left. Let's go! Let's go! And the other good news is we're not actually even ahead to the left yet, so they might even snap on us. They're only ahead in one out of two, so they won't snap. Oh, the Enchantress though! Oh, mate. We're screwed, aren't we? Aren't we losing? Enchantress puts them to 8, 9. Depends if they also have a 2 drop. What was the other card in my hand, guys? What was the other card in my hand? Wolfsbane? Send it! Let's go! Yes! Victory. It depended on their top deck, right? They had to top deck a card they can play. You gotta believe in yourself, guys, sometimes. Oh, mystery card. Electra! La ladies, fuck's sake, man. It's like garbage card. Right, we've almost completed the season pass, which means we get Blue Marvel. I don't know. If the, I don't actually think we'll play him, at least not straight away. Yeah, I really love the Enchantress change because, like I said, I think the other thing is. Enchantress doesn't synergize with Bast, which honestly is kind of important. A lot of the control decks Bast is so good in with like Hitmonkey, Mysterio and all this kind of stuff. So like for me, I would never be playing Enchantress in Sarah control ever if it was still five power. But at six power, you're suddenly like, oh damn, should I actually play Bast? My feeling is the answer is yes, you should play Bast, but it's possible. It's actually possible you play Enchantress still as well. I don't know though. It's weird. But that's why I think the change is so good. We can White Queen on Dream Dimension, get info of the last play. Most of the time it's just going to be Hulk, but... We want to draw the um, Enchantress here. It's just like a good card to play, or a two drop. One drop's also fine. We just don't want to draw Iron Man, I think, is the only card. It's fine, we have another turn to uh, draw. Something to play this turn. We want the... Uh... Ah, Wolf Spain's not so bad here. We can play it. It's not amazing though. My positioning's a little bit all over the place, isn't it?
New York is very scary if we're against a bot that cheats. And I don't like the board state, I have to say. I don't like it. Let's go! Out of dirt tree. Victory. <sighs> All right, we've pulled the head by two minutes. Not very good. This is like his worst part. This is like his worst part of the run. I wanted to be like 30 minutes ahead by this point, honestly. But look, now we're 25. And on the original run that I did, we would be at rank um, 21 at this point. Which is why my record got broken. Morph. Mate, what are these ass cards again? Here we go. We get another one. Come on, the Electra. Come on, the Angela. The Craven! Let's go! Hot location, baby! Usually that wouldn't be too hot. What else needs upgrading? Is it Cyclops? Guys, I can't see what it is that's upgradable. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I can't see it. Oh my god, I can't see it. Chat! Chat! What card is it that's upgradable, please? Mystery variant time. We go for the blue marble first because this means we can't get a blue marble variant. For flip's sake, not Star Lord. Oh, it's the Cyclops variant. Here we go, it's Electra. Iron Fist. Okay, now we need multiple man. We have Craven. Iron Fist isn't that good, but if we hit multiple man, Forge Hulkbuster. Alright, we want Ant-Man, just good. Iron, no, I don't know. Maybe Iron Fist is fine. We definitely want Craven, I think, in this location. We want Mr. Fantastic still, it's just good. We want Iron Man. We want Iron Man, Hulk. We want White Queen, Enchantress. Wolf Spain, I think, can stay. We want Sentinel. We want Misty. We want Iron Fist, I guess. We could also put Lizard in. Okay. Mate, Craven is the maddest card. I'm not sure about Iron Fist, though. We probably should get rid of it. I mean, it's fine, right? It's plus two on Craven, and it's just a two drop. A one drop brother. It's just like a misty night. <sighs> do we do it? Whatever. Funny enough. Oh! Craven is popping. The Craven by Frost. Let's go. Oh, mate. This is the secret weapon for the run. We found it. Okay, chat. We're, we're cooking. We are cooking. I think this is the best card for the run. <laughs> Come on! Yeah, that's true. It's a slow burner. Animation is not a quick one. I am. Yeah, this is a, this is live, Andrew. Hello. Iron Man. Guys, if you're watching on YouTube, please give the stream a like. Thanks. Cheers.
They might concede, didn't it? Because I'm so far ahead. Get in. Can we lose? Oh my god, we can lose. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's no way we just lost. Thank god. We won on a 50-50, mate. We almost bloody lost. How the hell did we almost lose? What the flipping hell? Victory. After all that, we almost lost. For reals. I guess I'll uh, buy daily mission refills at this point. Why not? I think this is when we want to do them because there's some challenges, like some season pass challenges, which are like complete missions. So I think we probably should have held the daily missions actually before until we got to this part. It's probably like a slight in in optimacy, in lack of optimization. There we go. Nailed it. Great English. We'll play the Psylocke, I guess, in case. Okay. If you win too much, your MMR goes up. That's a good thing because then we just queue into more bots. It's actually really important to just win loads. Which I know sounds obvious, but... Because you only play against people in pool one when you're in pool one. We're not going to be playing against people with full collections or anything like that. So the more, like, the more we win, the higher our MMR goes up, the less people we play and the more bots we face. So it's actually like very, very important to just be popping off in the speed run nice and early. What's up, Justin? Oh, sorry. Hey, what's up, Josh? Sorry, Josh and Justin. I got you guys confused there for a sec. Well, Ammon's just more points, isn't it? <gasps> Let's go! Mate, White Tiger is my friend today, isn't it? Fuck you, know, I shit my pants. Uh, the order doesn't matter on more spend anymore. They changed it. Blue Marvel, eh? So we also do have Blue Marvel now. I'm not going to go for it. I'm going to stick with this approach. I feel like just good stuff is the better way to go early on. And then when we get enough zoo cards, we can start going more like Kazazu. Captain America, does he, does he make the cut? I think it might be better than Wolfsbane, right? How do we get boosters? By upgrading the cards, we do what? How do we get more boosters? By, you just get more boosters by playing more, if that's what you mean in general. And you can get boosters from like season pass and all this kind of stuff from like daily missions. Uh, maybe not daily missions, but yeah, season pass. Mainly just playing games. We don't want to play Sentinel here because it doesn't thin our deck. We want to hit Craven off this turn or Atalan. TVA! Oh, snap! Oh, damn. Bifrost still goes through, I believe, right? Alright, Mantis would have been scary because they could hit our Craven. We look pretty good. I guess, like, maybe I should have just... We're always tying left, right? Oh my god. That's good. We just win. I think this is a misplay, though. I, I think I should have moved the Nightcrawler to... I should have, like, just stacked the whole lane, right? Unless they played Mr. Fantastic, it was going to a tie break this game. I guess this was beating Mr. Fantastic, though, so that's the main thing. 
Does the cheating bot always have better cards? It just knows, yeah, it just knows your moves. Same way with the losing bots. The losing bots just know your move and they make the losing play. The losing bots populate the early ranks and then you just get like... My experience from doing speedruns is you get little pockets of cheating bots when you get to like a really high MMR. Oh my god, Craven, guys. Craven Bifrost. We are doing this right now. Kind of don't want to Craven the Citadel lane, though, right? To be honest. Bit of a bummer. Because, like, Iron Man would just blow it out. They might not skip the turn, which is a problem for our Craven. I guess it's good overall, though. Uh, Angela's pretty good. I am pretty interested in, like, multiple man and uh, forge stuff. But, like, there's a lot of cards we need to make that really any good. Look at this Craven go, mate. I think Iron Fist, Craven are two of the most important on this run. Definitely Electra, though. Electra's so good. Squirrel Girl can also be really good if we go down the Kazar route. Which is the traditional way to do it, but I wonder if I might just try and avoid it entirely. GG. I guess I could have played something else first and then the Iron Man, but I doubt they're gonna even retreat, right? I am Iron Man. Oh my god. We might get snapped on too. Oh snap! Let's go, champ! Eight cubes, thank you very flipping much, mate! Let's go! You stupid bot. You little noob pussy. Can we get to 100 likes on YouTube, ladies and gents? It helps the stream out a bunch. We're at 91. Thank you. I appreciate you. Cheers. Yeah, Electra would also maybe allow us to put Lizard back in the deck. It's true. Although we wouldn't tend to play Lizard on turn 5, so maybe that's that. What's the world record? Uh, the world record is 7 hours 48. You can see it on the speed run just above me. Uh-oh. I had the previous record. It's actually a pretty interesting snap from a bot opponent. I had the previous world record before they changed the amount of cubes you get when you hit a milestone. And my record was around 12 hours. 11 hours 30, I think it was. That man has should be enough. No Craven, unfortunately. Avengers, assemble. Nice. I can uh, enchantress their Captain America. I am Iron Man. Yeah, it's a lot easier. Shaved off about four hours from the record that I previously set, and my record was flipping quick. My goodness, it was quick. For context, Dara tried beating me the same day I did mine. And he, his took like 19 hours. And I got mine done in 11 and a half or so. Yo, Darth, thanks so much for the $2. What's up? I appreciate you so much. Hope you're doing well, mate. We lost our Hulk. We can actually still lose mid, which is very scary. Hulk mid beats us. Blue Marvel is scary too. Oh, God. Yeah, it's looking very dicey mid. We want a big card. I'm not really sure there's that many left. White Queen might be our best bet here. Oh, God. 
Are we supposed to concede? Quite possibly. We're not going to, though. We're going to go full copium mode that it's a bot that loses on purpose. Squirrel girl. Squirrel girl. Please. Nice. Three energy gone. Big. Nice. Let's go! Let's go! We just had to hope it was a bot that wanted to lose. I think it's wrong to concede there. There's so many bots which just lose on purpose, and this looked like one of those bots. They're hard to spot, but I, I think it's incorrect to concede at this point. You have to pump. Let's go! Let's go! Hmm! I think retreating is for pussies at this point. When we hit 30... We're close to, like, the real challenging part, though, guys. This is, like, the make or break part of the run. The 30s are an absolute nightmare because you start playing against people with, like, the proper optimized zoo decks. All bots at snap turn one are losing bots. Damn, that could be a theory. Thank you for that. Are you sure? How confident are you on that? Interesting. You didn't lose a match until 35? Wow. I mean, I've already lost quite a few. Seventy percent sure. Okay, cool. Thanks. That's something I'm gonna look out for in the future. All right, we can enchantress the Mr. Fantastic. I think we've done really well this run. Honestly, I wasn't feeling too too good about the cards we drew, but suddenly I'm feeling quite okay with like the um the enchantress, the Craven. I think that's two insanely good finds. I am Iron Man. We don't want to give them our Enchantress, so we're going to Enchantress on the last turn, I guess. And we're going to try and bait them into snapping by stacking two Iron Mans together. I'm just playing Sentinel for what? Like 24? I am. Blue Marvel is a little scary. I'm gonna run to the loo. First loo break of the stream. It's a flipping A Cuba. All right, ladies and gents, we're popping off. Mystery variant soon, too. I didn't think he washed his hands. Trust me, I did. I just have a small bladder. Just in case you wanted to know that, you're welcome. I didn't wash my hands. I only went for a, like we. I only touched my pee pee. I mean, how many times you touch your pee pee a day without washing your hands? Answer me that. Hmm. What's the PP? Good question, I don't know. Let's go, mate. This is fun. We're going to be about 30 minutes ahead of Freddy. Like I say, last time, when I've done this run before, I've been like nearly an hour ahead at this point. So, not super optimal. 
we struggled between like 10 and 13, right? We dropped too many big cube games. We lost like four or five games so far. But we're getting there. He also, he was pretty quick from 30 to 40 though. 50 to 60, he had a slow one. 60 to 70, he had a slow one, but then it just gets insanely quick. Probably should have, uh, I don't know. I don't know about this. Oh! It's BM, guys. I'm I'm trying to get eight cubes. It's big brain. Guys, it's big brain, trust me. I'm trying to get eight cubes. No, no, no. This is just too big brain for you guys to understand. Snap! Did I see the Liverpool result? No, what is the score? Is it finished already? <clears throat> Easy. Oh my flipping god, this turn five I did, guys. What was I thinking? Oh my god. <laughs> this turn five might have been the worst turn in the history of Marvel Snap. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, we're almost there. Might be like 40 minutes ahead. It's hard to keep focus for s such a long period of time, you know. It's being my intelligence way. Guys, we have 100 likes. Thank you so much. I really appreciate anyone liking on the YouTube stream. It helps out a lot. Thanks, guys, for being here, for supporting the channel. If you guys haven't been watching, like if you're on Twitch, for example, and you haven't been watching my YouTube videos recently, I've been working super hard to improve the quality of them. Um, any feedback on them and, and any advice or any thoughts on how I can improve them even further, super welcome. Uh, I do have Kazar, but I, I think Kazoo is actually a bait. Kazoo is like the go-to deck to farm bots for eight cubers, but we're going to be playing soon against other bots uh, in mirror matchups and stuff. And I'm pretty sure their Kazoo decks are just going to be better than ours and puts us in a, in a bad spot. I think Iron Man is going to be the man to do the business. And I think Enchantress hitting stuff is also going to be pretty saucy. We've drawn very, very badly. The good news is we have a juicy Iron Man. They're doing surprisingly well, though, to play... We could have just really done with Sentinel, right? We just need a card to, to move in here this turn. Come on. Oh, I love that. GG. Easy win. Iron Fist popping off, by the way. Really good. Bots always move Nightcrawler the first opportunity they can. Apart from maybe cheating bots don't, it seems. But like, normal bots do. Uh, they could white tiger to get in mid, but we will then win the tiebreak. I am Iron Man. That's eight cubes, and I think that's rank thirty, which means we're forty minutes ahead. So again, at rank thirty, before I've been over an hour ahead on one run, but. Oh no, we're not quite there. But I had a, a lot worse RNG in terms of like the quality of cards I got. Like this turn, this time, okay, we're missing like the traditional cards like Squirrel Girl, Electra, Electra, Professor X. We're not interested in. But Craven and moreover Enchant. Well, actually Craven today, but like Enchantress seems just like such a good card for these runs now. Is doing this on today's hot location deliberate? It's not, but like doing it on hot locations in general is something that interests me. 
I did think it would be cool to do it with the hot location with like some movement cards. But if you think about it, there's going to be a whole bunch of like other locations which are going to be way more beneficial to do with a hot location compared to Bifrost, right? Like flipping Kamatage. The problem with Professor X is you're doing a blind Professor X all the time. And most of your opponents are also going to have ways of uh, buffing up that lane. I think Enchantress might be the money card for these speedruns. It might speed it up quite a bit. She is so good right now. So we know they have an Odin. Something to bear in mind. I just decided not to play Iron Fist. Assemble. All systems go. Um, Iron Man was the player. Oops. Hope we don't get punished by an Iron Man. Oh god, I'm scared. I'm actually really scared. Gamora's big. That's a lot of stats. Rocket Raccoon's a lot of stats as well. Oh my god. What a throw, man. Iron Man wins the tiebreaker, right? Fuck. That's insane. They had so many points, though. Wow. I thought it was a foregone conclusion, but Iron Man did the business there, right? I could have gone Iron Man, Iron Fist. No, just Iron Man. Iron Fist to the left. Well, I got punished. Yeah, I mean, we're going to lose against bots on the run. It's going to happen. Basically guaranteed. Well, it is, it is guaranteed. I'm loving this content. Thanks, Family Game. I appreciate you. Thanks for being there. I'm also having fun. I've been wanting to, like, it's supposed to be a bit of a tradition that I do this once a month. I just haven't done it for a couple months because I've had issues creating new accounts. I need to find a, a workaround that actually works consistently. I found one. I found, like, a temporary workaround for today. But yeah, basically when you delete a Marvel Snap account, it comes up and says um, 30 days. You have like in 30 days, this account will get deleted. But it turns out that's nonsense <laughs> because after 30 days, you just get a different message saying you just said you wanted to delete this account. Are you sure? You did you want to delete it or not? I'm like, yes, I do. And yeah, OK, still not deleted then. We don't need to hit the name more, right? It's just not necessary. I guess we can Iron Man left here. We're gonna Iron Man left and then Hulk right. That's the plan. I am Iron Man. <laughs> That's a bit of a heartbreaker. Are we ahead mid? We are. How do we play this one? We need to be scared of Blue Marvel. Seems reasonable. Oh, the Ant-Man didn't buff up because of the Enchantress. I thought we were losing mid because of the thingamajigger. Maybe we'll find it. This player just seemed pretty safe. Do I happen to have a girlfriend? Um, what is that? I'm not familiar with this thing which you speak of. Victory. Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Rank 30? Okay. 
We did it, rank 30, baby. We're 35 minutes ahead of Freddy's current world record pace. But again, this is the, his slowest part. This is now the crucial time where we are going to be playing against real people, guys. Oh, God. We should probably spend a moment to see if we have, like, the optimized deck. If there's any cards that we could be playing which we're not yet playing, for example. Enchantress is the money card, the cube winner, the bread winner. Kazar looking very likely. We should just keep playing Sentinel so we always have stuff to play with. Right? Wouldn't it just save time to ret always retreat if it's obviously not a bot? No, because at this stage it's real people pretty much exclusively. Just not necessarily very good real people, but then soon we'll start playing against actually pretty good real people. I'm going to snap. Their plays have been very weak so far. Avengers! Assemble. Slightly unoptimal with my Craven and Iron Fist here. We're looking good though. Yeah. Oh. I am Iron Man. Well, the biggest card in hand was White Queen, so it's looking pretty safe that we did it. They play it out as well. We beat Hulk. Nice, for Cuba. Oh my god. Yeah, Spectrum is a card which Victory. is very, very, very common to catch him off guard for big cubes. So that's something I really need to try and not forget about. I was wondering if we already got the mystery variant off this. Uh, we did, right? What was the variants we hit so far? Star Lord and Cyclops, right? Not ideal. I'm liking the setup with the deck though. Like the White Queen's pretty nice. Gonna help us avoid those like surprise victories. I also have just never been a huge fan of um, Jessica Jones with Iron Man. So the White Queen Enchantress kind of giving us two four drops to play is feeling really nice. Yeah, you can free to play, of course, yeah. You can only free to play, rather, not of course. Yeah, it's free to play only. That is for sure. I'm gonna snap because I have the Nightcrawl into Plundercall, so when Elysium's on the board, and we have the Mr. Fantastic, so Plundercall still is all but secured. So it's not really a fight for the left, so I probably should have White Queen the left. Oh, okay. That's actually really good info. They don't necessarily have it in hand anymore, though, but... It also gives us a way of, of winning it. So what we want to do is fill up... Mid, I guess. And then White, White Tiger to just get stats in Plunder Castle. Avengers! Assemble. Possibly we should have held the white tiger for surprise value. Oh, I am worried. I don't think they can beat us left though.
Oh my god, Scarlet Witch. What are you going to do to me? Nothing. We're fine. By a point. A cubes! Inject it straight into my vein. Pa pa pa! Scrap! I'm feeling like Medusa should maybe go from this deck. She's kind of whack, right? 15 boosters. The boosters are so good at this stage. It's also possible that we should consider doing fast upgrades at some point. I don't think we're quite at that point, but we could actually consider doing that. All right. What, could we, what, have we, what have we got that's good that we can get rid of? All right, here we go. Electra! Groot, you fucking suck, dude. You dirty little tree. All right, that was bad banter. Sorry. Um, uh, what's good? Blue Marvel's okay. Feel like we already have enough high end. I want something around the three mark. Lizard, I guess, is okay. It's a point more than Medusa. Has some... Uh, Liz I don't feel too good about Lizard. We do have Enchantress, though. Lizard is not the goat. It's one point, mate. Lizard is the goat. Not in pool one. Lizard in pool one is pretty awful. I used to think this card was so, so bad. Probably shouldn't have put Lizard in the lane where my Mr. Phantasmo is going to go, though, right? I'm rocking, guys, because I'm stressed. Yeah, we have we do have Lizard Enchantress, but like I feel like Enchantress is more tied to what my opponent's doing a lot of the time. But like if I Enchantress my Lizard now, for example, right? Like, I'm gonna feel like a bit of a Wally. Yeah, I'm taking Lizard out. I already prefer the Medusa to Lizard. We could put Blue Marvel in the deck as just like a surprise factor. We don't flood the board that that much though. We could also just put like another one drop in maybe. I need to stop the, the stress rocking guys. Relax about the... You got this, stress ties you out. Oh, good shout, Cabbage. Thanks. Let's chill. I am Iron Man. New York is always scary against bots, no doubt. New York, I'm walking here. See this lizard? I don't like it. Easy eight cubes. Whew. Lizard's gone from the equation. I don't like it. Dino's dead. I doubt it. I mean, Enchantress is not going to be as popular as she is now in like a week, right? Like her popularity is going to decrease. Dino will make a comeback. Dino's so good. Like, my God. There's like 17 stats. That's a lot of stats. All right, I think we've got another card coming through. But yeah, you make a point where like Dino can never really be top of the better because... Oh no, we don't have another card, I lied. Lady Sif boosts. I think we, that's another card though. Lady Sif. All right, guys. Pray for a... Electra. Hello, Angela. Get in my deck. Angela's really, really good. One of the best cards in the game at this stage. In general, very underrated card. Underappreciated. That's a really good find, ladies and gents. We're, we're cooking. We are absolutely cooking right now. We hit the Craven. 
probably the most important one. The Enchantress and the Angela, you could argue, are two of the other most important ones, right? Craven's popping off on main stage. Boosters are... I think the ultimate bottleneck is always uh, credits. So we've been spending our golds on the daily mission refills. I think I just unlocked some new... Some more gold. That's what you're saying, right? Oh! Oh! Yeah! Little douchebag, Charlie. You little douchebag. At least I didn't snap on this play though, right? That's also a bit questionable. We're locking it in. We're playing it out. We're playing it through. We're going for it. Hulk scary mid. It's Odin. All eyes on Scarlet Witch. Please no bar with no name arena. Let's go, baby. Four cubes. Hello. Craven too strong. This is a real person for sure. You can tell because of the Scarlet Witch play. You have to remember that I'm playing against pool one players, which means they're new to the game. Like they made a really good decision with the thing, but just yeah, they're obviously not gonna be playing perfectly because they're new to the game. Right guys, when do I start my feast? Because I have a little feast next to me. I'm really treating myself today. I have an apple and a yogurt. Oh, Lord Jesus. What flavor yogurt? So the yogurt I've been eating recently, I've been eating like this super high protein yogurt. I don't remember the name of the brand, but it says total on it. It's like 2% fat. There's like a big tub of like some branded bougie yogurt. It doesn't say the word. Again, two rafts today, two galactuses. What? Ant-Man is the biggest card in their hand. That is a big threat. Oh my god, I'm shitting myself right now, guys. Have you seen that? They have an Ant-Man in their hand. That's insane. I have a fancy, like, little one with some fruit compote. Should be nice. Galactus left or no balls? Hmm, it's an interesting concept. Alright, I'll do it. I'll do it. Um, I'll do it. Okay. I could have gone Enchantress mid. Maybe that was better. Say the Phantasmo. Oh, Galactus stuff was winning. Bottled it, mate. 
Giga Chad, unfortunately not, guys. But you, you... Wait, I just lost this location because of this. Chat! What's wrong with you? Victory. I didn't want the Galactus to go through, but I didn't think the Nightcrawler was going to lose me the location. Oops. That was a bit dumb. Uh, Galactus would have won because that killed their Mr. Fantastic mid. But you told me to play Galactus or no balls, so I did it. So I had to move the Nightcrawler to play the Galactus, so it was chat's fault. That's what the fuck the Nightcrawler was. It was chat's fault, as usual. It might actually be that they've changed the bots cut off to 40. I don't know. It feels like we've been playing against some real people, but it feels like more bots than we should be playing against. I don't know. Guys, we're at 121 likes on YouTube. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Can we get some more? Also, I'd be very interested to hear if you rated my attempt at a juicy thumbnail for YouTube today. I've been really working I've been really working my thumbnail game, guys. I'm pretty proud of the thumbnails I put out recently. <gasps> white Queen to draw White Queen or White Queen to Enchantress. Both are scary. Let's hope it's not Enchantress, because we're going for the Mr. Phantasmo. Shoot. That's OP. We can move Nightcrawler, though. Nightcrawler is so good, man. The Vault! Uh-oh. Intel. Look at this Intel. Alright, we have to remember that my APOC is going to move. All systems go. Do not forget. Opponent snapped. If you're sure, son. Style points! Bang! Thank God for the night crawler. -er. Yeah, I mean, the current speed, the current record was done with the new extra cube gain. Before the extra cube gain, I was the world record holder. No one beat my record. No one came close to my record on the previous speed run before they added the extra cubes. No, but that's terrible. The previous record was like 11 and a half hours, but it's now been shaved down to 7 hours 48 with the extra cubes. Saving about 4 hours. But my pace on that run that I hit was unbelievable. It was so quick. I had some slow burners, but like my average was like one hour and 20 or so to do um, like 100 cubes or 90 cubes, I guess. Deal an hour up. Yeah, this is around the, this is what I was around an hour up the last time I attempted the speed run, but I quit shortly afterwards because my cards were so bad that run. Like, I literally missed every single card that I wanted. Extra cubes. Yeah, so instead, like, when you hit rank 80, previously you would go to 81, but now you go to 85. They changed it, like, a couple months back, right? Nightcrawler's good. Nightcrawler's making a comeback with Jeff as well. Because Jeff, uh, Jeff Nightcrawler is just good together, especially with Angela. But there's even versions of that deck which aren't playing Angela. Craven's going to the moon, ladies and gentlemen. Craven is the money card for today, that's for sure. Holy moly. Twelve for two. Intel alert. It looks like they're going to concede, unfortunately, because they're not going to have a possible play to beat us. 
Heartbreaking. They played it so badly that they, they won't have a play, right? Oh, I don't get the mystery variant because I'm not premium. I was like, where's my mystery variant at, boy? Yeah, the bots retreat now if they can't possibly win. They changed it a couple months back. I, I'm assuming Freddy speedrun also works like that, but I don't know that for sure, actually. I'm liking the list we have. Wolfsbane often is pretty good in these decks, but I'm, I'm really liking the White Queen and the uh, Enchantress vibe. Seems pretty good. We should have played um, something. We should be playing stuff into the unrevealed locations though, right? I, we have Iron Fist as well though for Death's Domain. We have the Nightcrawler in hand. What's that? A little bit early to snap because of uh, Iron Heart. Iron Heart's a pretty big threat. Oh, damn. Well, that's a spanner in the works, isn't it? What do we do? Can we do that? More points mid. Avengers! Assemble. Opponent snapped. We probably actually enchantress our own man here. Does that make any sense, guys? Was, not really. I should have just played Sentinel. It didn't really make any sense, did it? Rocket Raccoon's also a really good card for the run. Has Nightcrawler moved yet? I'm honestly unsure. So hard to tell, isn't it? Victory. Anyone got any pro tips on how you notice? Guys, we're 53 minutes ahead. Let's go. This is where it starts getting really tough, though. Probably get more boosters off the tree here. What do we get off? We'll snap for treats. That's epic. Not potty trained, wow. Nova boosters, that's a really good one because we can split it twice with 15 without ever playing it. New card alert, here we go, Electra. Every time I, I just want the Electra, Rocker Raccoon's good. The cards look weird when you're unlocked on like, the background, doesn't quite look right, have you guys noticed that? Rocket Raccoon in. What's out? What's out? What's out? Is it Iron Fist? Iron Fist probably. It was okay. We we very rarely got extra Angela or Craven value off of it. And also we very rarely like moved into a, a fancy location. We lost them to snap. Let's go! New strategy has been discovered, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Yondu.
Oh my god, we're against death wave, guys. We're doomed. It is some kind of wank destroy deck. Sorry, KK, I respect you. But it's not gonna be very good, is it? We go Mr. Fantastic. Oh, it doesn't get it. I thought Mr. Fantastic was getting extra stats here, but it's not. It's already two. Oops. Captain America Sentinel here, I think, is the play. Our board is a bit awkward, mate, I must admit. Not loving it. White Queen Sentinel looks like the final play. Here comes Death Lock or Carnage. The good thing is they're wasting a lot of energy. They've probably built their own deck, which you have to respect, but they're probably going to have like loads of high-end cards, I would wager. Wolverine to the left is a big problem, actually. Doctor Doom! Oof. Claw onslaught. You have to respect it. Victory. GG. We have new strategy discovered. We're going to ask our opponents to snap on turn one. Dude, flipping heck, mate. You know, we've got places to be. Uh, would you go, go pick first, Stegron or Negasonic? Negasonic, personally, but like Negasonic's going down in price pretty soon. Probably should have played Sentinel. This is a misplay, right? I should have gone Sentinel because I can go Sentinel Craven next turn. I guess I can go White Queen. But it's like less points on Craven that way. Mate, my opponent, we found a Roper, guys. The first Roper of the speed run. Would it be good to have one slot in the deck where you just keep putting all your unupgraded cards? I don't think it's worth it. I think the folk. I, I think I made that mistake earlier on. I was trying to like do some upgrade stuff for like more cards, but what actually ended up happening was that I um, lost more games as a result of it. Multiple man. Uh oh. Multiple man's a card I'm pretty interested in finding today. I would wager we have enough mid, and we can probably just go Iron Man and Hulk dump. A little bit risky to do that though, isn't it? Let's go for the White Queen and Hulk line instead with the Rocket Raccoon this turn. We also get info off White Queen as what they have in hand. Heimdall, quite possible. Put multiple man in there. Thanks, Johnny. Looks like we're good. Onslaught, eh? So I might have some more six drops in hand. The deck's feeling super smooth right now. I have no plans of changing it. Previously, the last speed run I did, I failed around this mark because I just kept losing games. And it was around this mark I actually changed. I moved away from like just a mid-range style of deck to a kazoo deck. I tried to force kazoo because I hit like Squirrel Girl. And I actually didn't like it very much. I think this might be the deck. I always felt... The, just the best deck to play early on was with Hulk. When we get Shavas, we could consider playing her instead of Hulk. I'm not sure though. I think Hulk is just good. 
at this stage because you often play Hulk mirrors. Same reason you kind of need the Iron Man because you play Iron Man mirrors so often. Holy moly. Skull. Come on, Skull. Just snap, dude. Come on. Let's have it. It's World Chip. You gotta play out. Come on, you only live once. Have a bit of fun. Angela's popping off her six points early on. Obviously, Iron Man and Hulk are the money cards, which we actually don't have either of right now. For flip's sake, we found a rope, guys. A roper is just someone that's taking their time. They're like, in other card games, often you might, I think in Hearthstone and in Gwent, you have like, maybe it comes from Hearthstone, you have like a rope, which like runs out. On here, it's the end turn button. Like the end turn button is the rope. This is like a metaphorical rope. So my friend, my friend Shin Miri, who is like the most popular Gwent streamer, his uh, he loves to rope and think about his place. So his like chat are called the Rope Club. We still lose to Iron Man, most likely, though. JJ's only four stats if they play a card. Iron Man off the top. There it is. Beautiful. We'll ask them one more time to snap. They don't take the bait. My Sarah stream is rope coach. True. I feel bad. We hit the absolute nuts. This was the best hand possible. Yeah, I was also thinking my name is probably not a very good one. Three Avengers and an Angela. Victory. So as you can see, this 40 to 50 took Freddy one hour and 26. You can't get high evolution because it's not a pull one card. Uh, yeah, you can see here the split. Uh, rank 40, we're 53 minutes ahead. But this is Freddy's weakest time in the run is the first segment. It gets super quick. So last time I attempted this run, I was also ahead at this stage, but then I ended up still uh, giving up. But I also lost an insane amount of games around this mark last time. And I also needed a massive poo. No cap. I remember the last speed run I ended. And I went and sat in the toilet for a very long time. I am Iron Man. Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's pretty epic. For flip's sake, man. It might not matter though. Claw's good intel. White Queen's feeling really good. Iron Man or Enchantress will do it for us. Oh, that is scary. 
Enchantress off the top, ladies and gents. Or we lose. Flip! Bollocks! Well, we actually know that biggest cob was Claw. It's not happening, is it? Claw left was the play. Escaped. I misplayed. We low rob morph into Iron Man, but I also misplayed a wee bit. But to be fair, we we're probably losing anyway. They morphed into flipping Iron Man. Like, what are you going to do? Just accept and move on. Could have played it better, though, no doubt. You end the collection, your collection level usually caps out at around 130, something like that. It depends on how late on in the season you do it because of season pass rewards and stuff. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Come on. Bye, Frost. Hot location. Shit. Oh, shit. Ah, this last game I misplayed very hard, didn't I? Heartbreaking. The White Queen feels really good for that intel, though. Oh, thank you! That's awesome! I want to emote them, but they're more likely to retreat if they know that they misplayed. They probably know that they misplayed, but I don't want to give them, you know, too much of a, too much abuse for it. We could take the Enchantress now for stats. Maximus gives them a few too many cards in hand for my liking. Huh? That doesn't seem very good. I don't want to give the Maximus, you know. Intel is good. Oh my god. Oh my flipping days. I wouldn't feel so confident, but we white queened them. So they had Apocalypse and this beats Apocalypse. White Queen's looking at actually really nice. I guess it's possible that we could lose to like White Queen plus a card. Oh God. Holy shit. That's close. GG. Victory. We needed that, ladies and gents, that's for sure. The run's going really nicely. Give the video a like on YouTube if you're watching. It helps out so much. Thank you so much, guys. I'm hoping that this is the world record attempt and then this video can pop off. Let's do some mission refills, I guess. We can't do any more. It might be better to spend our gold on um, boosters. Quick upgrades. The current fastest you can see here, rank 100. It's a bit scuffed. It's supposed to look a bit smoother, but rank 100 is at 7, 7 hours 48. There's like a big gap in between it for some reason. At rank 90 is. 
seven hours 17 and then there's like five gaps i couldn't work out to get rid of them and yeah like i said i had the previous record before they added the extra cubes that you get in between milestones like you go to 45 instead of 41. the previous record had was like 11 hours 30 or something yeah so I, yeah yeah exactly as i said I, I had the previous record the i have the legacy record like that record was never beaten on the original ranking like rank ranking but my very good friend freddy has got the current record he's he's got it so uh Ooh. Craven, it's quite scary. Snap. I'm snapping because my opponent rope turn one. I might get a free win. Yeah, we're doing it all in one sitting. It might be AFK, that's why I'm snapping, even though I think we're in a bad spot because of Craven. Oh shit, I got baited. Why no Nebula? Good question. Such a really good point. Hmm. Oh, let's go, bar with no name. Pops off. Hello. What happened to Freddy? Freddy's been prepping for a flesh and blood tournament. He's on the pro tour. Uh, he's in America at the moment um, for that. And he will hopefully be back to make some snaps off soon. My understanding is he's uh, planning on doing that. I know he was feeling a little bit burnt out and having a break is always... It's only going to be a good thing, right? For your mental health and stuff. I know for me personally, like these little trips I have, uh, like I recently went to Geneva, I just come back feeling so much more fresh. More Gamora because of JJ and Bar of No Name. Seems like the turn to Gamora. They could have our Enchantress. Also, that JJ was actually here, right? So the Gamora should have gone here, but they also <laughs> didn't realize. Gamora could be okay. It's true. I already have Iron Man, though. Having Iron Man and Gamora seems a bit much. And Hulk, I prefer to Gamora, just because there's sometimes you can play Hulk on a lane they don't play into, right? Angela is a bit of a worry if they uh scarlet witch us like their line is the scarlet witch and commit left right they can't have my injunctions yet cool scarlet witch was the scary play here it just needs some like better ui right with jj when when she moves it's possible that they have changed the UI, actually. We're 144 lights. Can we get to 169 on YouTube? Sorry, I keep asking. I know it's a pain. I'm a loser. But I appreciate you all being here and hanging out. It's a very easy snap for us when we see Subterranean. We have Sentinel in hand. Let's go! We have a snapper, guys. The new tactic is popping off. They changed it, but now it's wrong. They had better UI. Wait, really? Thanks, Simbo. You saucy backer copying my play. Mm. Do you play the rock? Probably not. 69, haha. <laughs> I know, I'm a comedy genius, aren't I? I really do this.
I can definitely see us slamming Enchantress mid. If they go blue marvel, for example. I am Iron Man. Could be losing though still. So I have eight stats, they have two, four, three. I have seven, nine. Could be a loss still. Fuck's sake. So eight cube loss, even though I enchantress all four of their flipping cards, man. That's heartbreaking. We overcommitted left. Interestingly, enchantress and then um, sentinel right was winning. Damn. No, you only play against poor ones the whole way. You just start queuing into more bots when your hidden MMR gets super high. But we're not quite at that point yet. Snap. Opponent snapped. Cool. It's another 8 Cuba. Kind of very good for us with uh, Craven. We're getting milled, guys. Oh my god, we're winning the video game. We haven't been seeing Bifrost that often, to be honest, have we? I have a feeling we might be winning this one. Just a hunch. We could have gone. No. We could have gone Craven, Nightcrawler, Ant Man just to get more Craven value. But, but Angela's also very good. Craven to the moon! Oh yeah, baby! The fast forward animation for my middle crave, my mid cravens. Let's go. I mean, we are just winning, right? Like, what if we just don't make it too obvious that we're winning and play nothing? Pretty sure if we didn't skip, like if we just slam cards on five, they would have retreated, right? Because they're like, oh, I'm literally losing on board. Whereas here they're like, oh, maybe they're AFK or something. I don't know. The do the the dumb, silly tactic which had never worked somehow worked. Beautiful. Victory. Here we go. Electra, please. Cosmo. I'm pretty sure we're not interested in Cosmo. I don't have any stats being tracked for the run, unfortunately. What rank are we right now, guys? We're an hour behind Freddy hitting rank 50. We're certainly... like It looks, looks like we're going to be pretty far ahead. Do you read YouTube comments or just Twitch? Just Twitch. That was a joke. For all the people in the back. Because it was a YouTube comment. Just in case.
Sorry, that was actually a manual ad, my bad, Felix. I'm, I'm trying to do manual ads at the moment and just get used to timing them on Twitch. But clearly, as you might have noticed, I'm not into the swing of it because I've not been running any today either. Uh, we got Cosmo. That was a good one, thanks. I try. Miniaturized Lab's a bit weird. So the next card I play won't move, right? White Queen's beautiful. He b feels bad for the no life Twitch, no life for Twitch users, so he reads their comment. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> appreciate your content. Thanks, Ben. I appreciate you. Cheers. Guys, did we hit 169 likes? We're at 152. No! We got got. We did actually just get got, ladies and gentlemen. The Watcher! Who watches The Watcher? Claw, please. Oh, God. Odin's quite intimidating. I think we go Mr. Phantasmo and Sentinel, maybe? Iron Man is not doing enough. This could be a loss. Scarlet Witch is really popping off. Now, let's hope... My plus two is enough to the left. I don't think it is, though, is it? I think we have to concede this one. Good thing I have blue Marvel, guys, right? <laughs> so our first retreat, I think, not including uh, scripted losses. Escape. This Scarlet Witch popped off. Wait, is, is that a... Wait, who watches the watches? A Watchman reference? I'm unaware. It's actually a Gwent voice line, which is referencing the Watchman. then. So I'm referencing the thing which is referencing the Watchman. Multiple Man! Hello! Welcome to the deck, ladies and gentlemen. We are movement now. It's got to be good enough, right? What gets cut? What gets cut? What gets cut? Guys, what do we cut? Captain America? It's just an old saying the Watchman uses. See. Who watches the watcher? Fist back in? Hmm. Maybe, maybe instead of Rocker Coon. Ironheart's also an interesting shout for the multiple man. Forge is better, right? Hulkbuster, we don't have either of those. Hulkbuster is going to be a really nice find for us now then. Oof. However will I deal with, deal with this claw? That's OP. Hopefully they don't. Cosmo mid. We'll kill Cosmo left because multiple man is like less energy, so it's more flexible to play later. I know it's not doing anything here. Please, no. Cosmo. Okay. It's a pretty big issue for us, isn't it? We're all but losing the right. We're going to Iron Man mid. I guess Mr. Fantastic Iron Man might do it, but maybe we should have just Mr. Fantastic here. Move Nightcrawler mid. It's looking rough for us. Well, Mr. Fantastic has more stats to the left, which is definitely what we need. I, am Iron I like that they played a card here. We might be good. Oh, it looks like we might be very good. We're at 19, Blue Marvel puts them at 14, plus potentially 2, 16 max. Boomer Snap, nothing wrong with a Boomer Snap. Victory. People underestimate the power of a Boomer Snap.
But as you can see, Freddy's speed, we're, we're 53 minutes ahead. And already, like, we're all, like almost 53 minutes off the split. And we're still a long way to go. Like, Freddy's speed just gets crazy. Like, this is his weakest time of the run. Do you repost my comments to Twitch? What about other people's? Yeah, there's a bot that does it. The, the same way that, the same way it's happening to the way where you can see the restream bot saying Twitch people's. It's a, uh, oh. Same person. I didn't notice. We played this person earlier, that's for sure. Was it the last game though? I don't think so, right? Huh? What? Oh, they go off Camp Lehigh, okay. I was like, bruv, that's a pool two card. We're in pool one. White Queen's saucy here. Freddy didn't post the world record, I don't think. I also never posted my original world record. Dumbos we are. We're both idiots, mate. White Tiger does not exist. Victory. GG. This guy got very unlucky because we Cyclops the same lane that they stormed on turn two. You a jester? Is that it? Hello? Free win? Alright, time for my apple. It's one of my two snacks for the stream. Plan to eat this little in like eight hours. Yeah, it's just gonna be bedtime after that. I mean, I've already eaten. Um, I, what did I have today? I had a, sa had a salad. Well, I had a black coffee first, and then I had a salad with some ham, tiny bit of ham, basically not in the salad. I had like 
two sides of ham on its own while I was making the salad. I had like pot of tuna in the salad. It had some like lettuce, tomatoes, cucumber, little bit of olive oil, balsamic vinegar, bit of hummus, little bit of uh, like Spanish omelet, like with egg, tiny bit. Um, a bit of coleslaw. I had a protein shake. And then I also had a couple hours later, one slice of toast, half a can of beans and four fried eggs. You're welcome. That's, that's what I've eaten so far today. And that was just before the stream. So now I'm having an apple and a yogurt and I'm done. I am Iron Man. Coleslaw, it's like carrot, cabbage, shredded and in, in mayo. If I keep these eating habits up guys, I might not be fat anymore. Do I drink tea? Not really. I love black coffee, mate. All systems go. Might be losing. Might be losing. Motherfucker, hey, oh apple. No, no. It just split in half. Like the seeds are here. I just ate around them. It just broke in half when I was eating it. It was very small. Oh! No, we went. Cool. Also, what kind of apples have arson? I'm interested. Sounds like my kind of apple. Bait? Yeah, I know. I do need to shave. You're right. New card, ladies and gentlemen. It's Rebecca Vardy. Doctor Strange. I have two other cards to upgrade, apparently. All right, it's yogurt time, but then no more food for us. Same opponent we just played against. Guys, press one in the chat if you lick the lid of yogurt pots. Press two if you think it's disgusting. Or not or if you just don't do it. One if you lick the lid, two if you don't. This is science. One, 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 one. Okay. Three, I let my dog lick it. Oh my god. That's so wholesome. What kind of dog is it? Oh hello! We're popping off, ladies and gentlemen, undeniably, unequivocally. Where's my spoon? My spoon is too big. My spoon is too big. You guys ever seen that video? Classic YouTube video. 
So basically, let me explain here. There's this guy and he's got a spoon and it's too big. And then he says it like five times that his spoon is too big. And then this guy in a banana costume, or maybe it is a banana, nobody actually knows, then just goes, I am a banana. Mm -hmm. Guys, why do I have so many sentinels? Where's that from? I don't know, it's like some OG YouTube video. It's like some guy made like a bunch of cartoons which got rejected from TV, but then he made, put it on YouTube. Hmm. Bruv, how did Freddy do all the, this rank 40 to 50 so quickly? I feel like we've been doing pretty well. I'm not feeling too confident here. JJ's not buffing, that's good news. Oh no, not this sentinel, I wanted the other one. No! Iron Man was actually okay for us. It's not as good as Hulk, so give us the Hulk. Then I know I've got a handful of Sentinels, so we might run. No one ever runs at this rank. White Queen is basically the best we could ask for there. Apart from Hulk. It looks like a win. Okay, so we did one poll already on yogurt pot licking. The next poll, guys, is press one if you also use your finger to get all the good stuff around the edges. Press two if you don't. I had some, I feel this one's gonna be less popular. Just stick your tongue in it. Mm -hmm. Fingers are so much more efficient, mate. Uh oh. Oh, JJ's not buffing. I hope. I think. All right, let's go. This guy's living up to his name. Pumper Nickel. Victory. The paid pumper, mate. Just there as all. Well. He had gameplay like there as well. Way. My stream is a pig. Oh, yeah. You best believe it. All right, we have another card, ladies and gents. Another card upgrade. Electra, please. Garbage. We got Apoc. Apocalypse. Who? Oh, but is real. I respect you though. The guys that said that they do put their finger in it. Okay, I've got another one for you. One thing I actually do do, unironically, and without shame. Okay, I do. I am a bit sh ashamed of it. If I get like a cappuccino or a latte, which is quite rare, right? All that good shit that gets stuck in the cup, I will put my finger in and, and wipe around, bro. Sorry, not sorry. And I'll always do a little like look around to see if anyone's watching. Yeah, APOC is nice, don't get me wrong. It's just not good for the speed run. Wolverine, go left. Base, 50-50. 
See you later, Washington, D.C. What? Hi, I'm a Brazilian player. I follow your channel. Is the, in this season of Marvel Snap, I don't get ranked KT. I'm so sad. Mm. I offer coaching if you're interested, actually, guys. I need to start plugging my coaching more. If you guys are interested, it's a bargain. It's only £50 an hour. Man has a degree in education. So it will actually be quite good. I promise. Oh, snap. Scammers, mate. That's the price. It is, it just is what it is. I'm sorry that it's unaffordable for a lot of people. I understand that, but it's just like, my time is valuable, isn't it? And you're gonna, you're not gonna find a better teacher. Well, okay, you, you might, but. Rob, <laughs> stay shit. That's fair enough, actually. I, I respect that. Iron Man. Mm. Oh, that is real. GG. Spacey says just win lol and leaves Discord. It's true. That's exactly my teaching method. I that's actually exactly how I learned how to teach with my degree. Maybe I'm underestimating how many points I have mid. No 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 no. Right? Maybe I am. Maybe I should have gone to chance. No, well, not chance just mid. 50 pounds though, make it 20 and you'll make money. Yeah, but then the problem is that I'm going to be doing too much coaching, right? I'm so busy, bro. That's why I've set the price high. Because I don't actually want to do that much of it. Because also I don't want to burn out on Snap, right? If I'm doing like a stream and then also... I understand it's like really like not affordable for the vast majority of people, but... Victory. I'm worth one third of a pool five card. I know. But yeah. Like uh, when I did Gwent coaching, I did it for around £20 an hour and it was a mistake because I, I didn't even do that much of it because there was less demand of it. But like, oh my goodness, I got I, it, it was just another thing that contributed to my burnout with Gwent. Don't get me wrong, like, I'm, I, I really enjoyed doing the coaching sessions and I would be happy to do a bit more of it recently. But like, I can't really, I probably only do three hours a week reasonably, like without other things suffering, right? Do I do anything else besides streaming? Yes. I I was going to make a wanking joke, but I'm actually, I decided not to. Is High Evolution worth buying? Probably. I mean, who knows how good it is, really, right? That's the problem. But it probably is worth it. Hard to see why it wouldn't be. But yeah, if anyone is interested in coaching, you can send me a message on Discord. We can we can haggle the price. We'll make it sixty pounds and haggle down to fifty. What do I do apart from uh, stream? So I mean, I used to be a teacher. I'm not doing that at the moment though. Um, recently, I've been on like a lot, like a big fitness grind. I just need to sort my nutrition out, which I'm getting there with. But uh, I go to the gym quite often. I have started playing chess on my phone though. I try and travel. I've been traveling a lot the last like, year or so. I hadn't been abroad this time last year for like eight years though. But recently I've been able to travel more. I mean, I want to play the multiple man, but... Energy inefficiency is real. Chess stream would be pog. I've been doing some chess streams after snap. I just haven't streamed any chess at all. I've not been playing much chess in the last week or two. Okay, so they get my Iron Man, which is quite scary, but I do have Enchantress, so... I'd imagine that Iron Man right here. What elo am I? I'm like 700, I'm not very good. But I was a lot worse like two, three weeks ago. Yeah, uh, Freddy's just like taking a break. He's also been preparing for a fresh and blood, uh, flesh and blood tournament, which he's on the pro scene for the pro circuit. I don't know what the right expression is. I am Iron Man. 
It's quite alarming, isn't it? We know they have an Iron Man too, so... Sheesh. What do we do? Target locked. This is 4 plus 2, which is 6, which is 12. Seems a bit... Like, not a very good play. Found the lines. That's a really nice line. I think we went all three lanes. If I enchantress Dino, I also enchantress my Iron Man, so. Not worth. I think Iron Man was worth more than Dino, though, right? Bear in mind, Dino. Stays at three after it gets Enchantress, whereas Iron Man goes to three uh, to zero. Electra, Blade, Blade's not so bad, but I don't like it. Blade's good in like the all-out zoo decks, but I'm pretty happy with what we've got at the moment. But we're only half an hour ahead. I don't, I can't believe he did this 20 minutes quicker than us. He must have queued into so many bots. It's the only explanation. Maybe, maybe I'm just being rude. It is Freddy after all, he's a god gamer. Guys, we're so close to 169 likes on YouTube, please. Korg is scary. Korg is also a nice one drop in general. I was assuming he didn't use reveal effects. No, nah, because it's all just about, like, if reveal effects take time away, it doesn't really matter. Like, ultimately, you just want to play the best stuff for it. Like, animation effects in a speedrun are not your priority. Your priority is just playing the best possible deck. I know he mainly played Zoo stuff with Kazar, which is particularly good against bots. This is, like, the deck I'm using is not typical. Most speedrunners play Kazoo. Kazoo, yeah, you can. Craven off the top, please. Enchantress mid is pretty nice, especially because they're quite likely to Kazar mid with uh, Kunlun showing up. They've got the Iron Fist. The timing is awful on it though, right? Like, they were supposed to Iron Fist later. It's a huge misplay. The deck looks pretty legit though. It looks like a very nice build. Wow. Wish I Enchantress now. Venice Iron Man also wins me this lane. Does Enchantress get me there? They lose four, six. Well, they lose four. They would lose four, so I would be at. Uh, 25. So Enchantress is winning me the lane to the right. No longer. That is no longer the case. They only have one card off the top. Should be a win.
This looks competitive. What is, what is that? Some kind of speedrun website. Is YouTube paying you for ads during live stream? Yeah. It's been hitting you with a handful. All right, thanks, Justin. Uh, YouTube have actually put through a different... Yeah, they are paying me quite well. YouTube ads pay much better than Twitch ads. YouTube have changed with their live streaming thing. It's something I noticed since I'm um, going back to the multi-streams in the past couple of days, where they give you... Before you had to run the, the mid-rolls yourself, which honestly is... I, I find that very difficult to like actually remember. But if it's impacting the experience, please do let me know. And I'm also just going to have a look at like the, the overall revenue difference because I'm honestly not sure. Yeah, no, thanks, Justin. Yeah, YouTube ads are like so much more lucrative than uh, Twitch ads. It's like a big reason. It's one of the biggest reasons really to uh, experiment with streaming on YouTube. Like the ads pay so much more money. Bad. Cheers, Justin. Well said, Ducks Deluxe. Well bloody said. Rip. Well, they filled the mid lane already, which feels a little bit unwise. Are you tired to climb the rank? Uh, we're chilling. It's only 8 p.m. I have a lot left in my tank. Hulk wins me mid. If they don't have blue marvel. Oh god. We could also have been off mid. Craven is four points to the left. Okay, Odin is the most likely play, which we're beating Odin. I think we just say we lose to a Tiger. Sorry, we lose to um Blue Marvel, right? Doesn't look like a Blue Marvel deck. Nice, let's go. Eight cubes, baby. Hulk and Iron Man, OP. It's the strategy for me. All right. That's the next split. We're still 26 minutes ahead. We lost a lot of time on that one, though. My God, Freddy. He did that one in an hour. The next one he did in an hour and 20, which is more like the speed we just did ours. We did ours in an hour and 26. He was on something for that one, my god. That went crazy. We could do some fast upgrades. Yeah, Claymore being all tribal about Twitch and... Uh... I think it's best to just ignore it, guys. I've not been calling it out because it's just kind of funny. It's like saying, dude, you play PS4, you're a nerd. I'm cool, I play Xbox. It's like YouTube and Twitch viewers both watching a live stream. I'm a Twitch watcher and a YouTube watcher, you know. Any particular card you are looking for? Yeah, Electra. Electra is so, Electra, not Electro, is so good at this point. At this uh, pool. Snap. We could try and win this, but a bit risky in it. I don't really like this play. I want to go here, but then I get rid of my Ant-Man. And I can't go mid because of Mr. Phantasmo. 
Yeah, Craven multiple man is just because of hot location. The Craven's really good. The multiple man is like not so good, but it's three for two at this stage isn't a complete disaster. It's certainly not good. Good start. Victory. So as you, if we look at like his average time, like he goes stupid quick guys for so many of these, right? Like this one is like 50 minutes or so, my God. Like 40 minutes almost. Like how? He's doing 50 cubes in 40 minutes. It's absolutely obscene. 170 likes. Let's go. Thanks for 169 likes on YouTube, guys. I really do appreciate the support. It means a lot. Am I a wizard? I'm not a wizard, Hagrid. I'm just Harry. Well, just Harry. You're a wizard. I'm not a wizard, Hagrid. Rizard. Jesus. The Rizard of Oz. Oh no, the Enchantress Lizard. How can we compete with such power? It was bloody ridiculous. I don't really know how to play this one. Maybe like this. Then we still have like all the elements of surprise. With where Hulk goes. Maybe we should have just filled up the Ant-Man lane. Because they're losing five already, right? Oh my god, you sussy baka. Victory. What? Was I an actor in Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels? Mm, I've never watched that film. So, no. I can't make a good joke about that one. I'm assuming it's some British thing. Guys, big game tomorrow. Everton versus Leicester. If Everton lose, we're basically getting relegated for the first time in my lifetime. Thanks, Dylan. I appreciate you, man. Mate, I don't really watch films. I prefer pornos. Wait, what? Sorry, huh? Oh, hello. Oh, snap. <gasps> the best card in the game. We might lose the right. That's the concern here. Let's get some cards into danger room now. And then... Uh... White Queen Intel also.
Oh lord. Well, we know what's coming. The good thing is I'm going second as well. Get in. Hmm. What well, if that onslaught sticks? This would put me ahead and I would tie the right. 15, onslaught's 8. God, scary times. They might just not go for the onslaught and just play something right. All eyes on the Chavez in danger room. Let's go for eight. Fucking good in there. I did not want to get 25% in. The Enchantress, she could die. It was all about the Chavez and she is my queen, ladies and gents. She does not let us down. We've got the epic upgrade on Mr. Phantasmo. And that is a new car, ladies and gents. Electra! Oh, it happened! It actually happened! Let's go! Oh, mate. I'm buzzing. I'm fucking buzzing, mate. I'm quite liking the setup, though. I'm going to keep, like, the distribution the same. In what world we live, the song is exciting. Mate, Electra's so good in Pool 1, man. She's cracked. She's only irrelevant because Killmonger exists. Oh, God. I put Electra in my deck and I get armored. Are you serious? Okay, Bifrost, come on. Show me the flipping Craven, please. Go left. Here we go! The Craven into bar. Our secret source. We also get the speed up animation, which is also OP for a speed run. Fast forward. Hello! Why are they playing to the right? What's going on? Oh my giddy aunt. Don't go left. Victory. Hey, Bribery. Uh, Freddy Babe says the current record, but he didn't beat my actual... My time is like a legacy time. Because they changed the amount of cubes you need to go from rank z rank 1 to rank 100. Previously, when you went from like rank 79 to 80, you would jump to 81. But now instead you jump to 85. So it's like... I think it's like 8 times that's different. So it's like 4 times 8, which is 32. So it's like 320 cubes less. Quick maths. Everyday man's on the block. Smoke trees. I saw your girl in the park and she was Uckers. Because I think it starts at 25.
What a woman, mate. Are you a real Marvel Snap gamer if you don't love Electra? I love this card. I thought it was so broken. I remember like giving feedback to second dinner, like, guys, you really need to nerf Nightcrawler and Electra. They're very OP. <laughs> Uh, my normal account's like almost 8,000. You never used Electra not in pool 1? She's like the best card in pool 1 though. She's so good. She's giga broken, mate. She just slaps. Oh, they're trying to contest the Craven lane. Bless them. Little do they know the power. We're about to unleash. We should have uh, Enchantress the Shuri's lab. It's a misplay. Here comes the Craven. The power of the man known as Craven. They can move Nightcrawler, so we should still be a little bit concerned here. Hmm. Yeah, the world record is 7 hours, 48. It's a really good time. It's slow at the start, but it gets insanely quick. My Shuri's lab with an Iron Man is pretty flipping weak, all things considered. They retreat, let's go. Save us some time, thank you, son. GG. Yeah, but we waste credits. I'm quite happy with the deck as it is at the moment. Multiple men could get cut, but I think it's fine. Yo, Oksana, thanks so much for the sub, by the way. 11 flipping minutes ago. I just realized, man, I'm sorry. My alerts are not set up correctly. I really appreciate that, mate. Sorry for missing it. I suck. Starting to get tired, guys. About four hours left, which would take me to midnight. As soon as this is done, I'm going to snooze. Ritzy feels ignored. Oh, that's not good. Sorry. What did you say, Ritzy? Joke? You got me. You sub too? Wait. You did? It hasn't shown up. You... Oh, thank you, Ritzy, but it's not showing up at all. You probably need to share it in chat. It's kind of weird. You need to like share it in chat or it doesn't actually notify me. Well, thank you so much, Ritzy. That's so kind of you. Oh, you subbed three hours ago, bruv. Oh my God, dude. Thank you so much. Caught your stream the first on your speed run. First, and enjoyed every single one of these. Ritzy. Yeah, shut up, bro. Oh, fair enough. I was like, mm-hmm. Sounds a bit sus, mate. 
Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Did I say that enough times? Yep. The Iron Man seems too committal to a single location, huh? Three hours later. Yeah, if I ever miss a sub or a follow, guys, please, like, at me or a raid and be like, Specky, what, what doing? Even if you're not the one that subbed. My alert's all over the shop at the minute. I keep uh, switching from OBS and Streamlabs back and forth. Fortunately, my internet problems have fixed themselves. I, w I was having a lot of stream crashes the past couple days. But all good today. Joke is just kidding, not joke. JK stands for joke. It's like without the vowels, no? Otherwise, my whole life is a lie. Not feeling too good about this one, I have to say. We could play for two cubes, though. We know they have a Hulk. Hulk smash. If I Hulk smash left, I don't have enough points. So we have to predict where they Hulk smash. 50-50. It's more predictable that I move my Nightcrawler mid because of Craven buffs, which is why I Hulk smash mid. I'm unorthodox! Let's go. Big win. Victory. Thanks, Rick. I appreciate that. You're a diamond. Thanks for Prime. I'm kind of in, uh, honestly, this whole thing that JK actually stands for just kidding is kind of mind blowing to me. I mean, it makes so much sense, but I always thought it meant joke. <laughs> I mean, it serves the same purpose, right? Thanks for the likes on YouTube, guys. I appreciate you. Rickety Bridge. I have Mr. Phantasmo, so. So I have to farm one more season pass off and got 10 Lady Sif boosters. Oh my god, congrats. Ah, oh, whoosh. Oh. So it doesn't actually mean just kidding, rebound? Hmm. Seems like it would be. It could though. Hmm. Bummer. On Enchantress, this. So I'm the queen of the white variety. But you maybe should have slammed Enchantress because I can't. I'm also not able to Hulk because of Rickety Bridge. Electra's pretty interesting into Rickety Bridge on the last turn, though. Really interesting. They're ahead to the left. They're ahead to the right. They're almost ahead in the middle. They have a Hulk. Oh, Lord. I mean, we could. This is, this is like no other good player, right? It's pretty sad that I hit my Ant-Man on my Mr. Phantasmo, but I also hit the Punisher. Um, my Electra line onto Quicksilver is kind of big brain. All eyes on compound. I doubt we have enough. They got us. Pretty sure we shouldn't be playing here, but I'm going to. Nightcrawler mid is the biggest issue for us. But they probably shouldn't do it because they're not going to predict Electra, hopefully. I remember my sister being shocked to learn BRB is supposed to sense with BRB about not bathroom break. Wait. That's a weird line. I guess they wouldn't weren't expecting the Electra. Let's go. Electra wins games, ladies and gents. Beautiful. Yeah, like the Nightcrawler mid would be winning, but like who actually makes that play? Victory. Sheesh. Electra for the cubes. 
This is the kind of gameplay we're needing to beat the record. It's a shame we had such a stinky rank 20. Like, I was only two minutes ahead. I could have been, like, way further ahead. Whatever. Yeah, Nightcrawler mid just makes no sense, right? Weird world. Mm. Not liking the look of this one too much. I guess I have Iron Man. And Hulk, so they're probably going to have very little to play. On 5 and 6. Unless they already have their juicer cards in hand as well. Uh oh, please no location Arno. Get in. It's my Iron Man lane. Probably should have played uh, one of the one drops here for the Ant Man. No, I just milled my own... Wait. That was their Captain America. I'm not playing it. Get in. That was good. We'll go Iron Man and then Hulk to the left or mid. Maybe because ours here's an overcommit. Iron Man. Yeah, Iron Man wouldn't be that much otherwise. I have my Enchantress. That's a really good point. Thanks. She is. is. I might go for it now. What does it mean when I say get in? Get in is like short for get in there. Which I guess is like probably come from football. Like the ball's gone in the net. It's like get in there. Like get in the hole. Get in there. So if you say get in. It's like that's really good. I'm really happy. It's like yeah. We scored a goal. Get in there, you beauty. I think we might be getting Enchantress. Iron Man. There's no way we can beat it if they have it. Enchantress is broken, dude. Thanks for the shell. Wait, we got a raid arena. Thanks for letting me know. Yo, Kawa. Thanks for the raid, dude. And thanks to Ritzy for letting me know because he knows that I wouldn't have noticed. What's up, Carl? This one's for you, baby. Korg is actually kind of good. Hmm. I'm thinking multiple man is not quite worth to put Korg in. Korg or Rocket Raccoon? Probably Rocket Raccoon is better still. Korg's really nice on one, though. The run's pretty good. The problem is, is Freddy starts slow and then just gets insanely quick and um, our start was ahead of his, but not by that much. So we're still ahead of him by like 20 minutes or so, but it's going to be a struggle to, to, to take it from here because of how quick it gets. Were you uh, snapping today, Kawa? Guys, you don't know my good friend Kawatech here. What are you doing? Go give him a follow. Very good Marvel Snap player. Makes all sorts of awesome Marvel Snap content on YouTube as well. And also hosts and runs his own Marvel Snap events. Where there's going to be uh, another event that I'm going to be at in a few months. 
which is going to be exclusively live on Kawa's channel. Although I think I also might be able to stream saying that, right? Because I think of where it is. I was playing a little tournament, went down to Lucy's bracket, lost to Coco though, so I'm not too mad. Oh, nice one. What tournament was it? Was it like this one you mentioned the other day? What deck were you playing and what was Coco playing? Oh my god, Electri, you're so fucking saucy. <clears throat> Alright, let's just secure the bag here. Hi, Tarsa Monster Lewis. I just joined stream for the first time. Well, this is pool one only. This is a fresh account we just made today. We're trying to go from rank one to rank 100 in the quickest time possible. We're close to rank 60 after four hours. We're like 57 or something right now. The summary of this deck is that it's just a bunch of good cards. I'm just playing cards which are good. And I also have Craven because of Bifrost. So I'm playing Iron Man, Hulk, Nightcrawler, Angela, in the new, newly buffed Enchantress. Season pass gamer, pay to win alert. I just wanted just a small one, only like eight players. I played Lockjaw Thanos. I played Sarah Monkey. That's one, good try. I have not played much Thanos recently. Oh my god, that's a lot of cards. Oh my god, I'm getting paid to win right now. I'm getting paid to. Phew. Alright, we're at the serious MMR. For pool one gamers, guys. Victory. We're at the serious MMR. So Freddy took an hour and 20 on this split, which is about the same amount the last one took us, I think. Snap. Pay to lose. Good one, Felix. <laughs> What location, please? Nightcrawler is the money card here off the top for the raft. So I fill the raft, but then I'm not full on a lane. Our oh, Bifrost is so good. Let's flipping go. We can chill for a sec. Play Mr. Mr. Fantastor. Mr. Phantasmo points in the other two locations. This one's a win. I just think Electra's fine. It's a little bit greedy. Oh, that's the third time! That's the third time this run. Three volts, three Galacticides. What are the odds? It's... That's a bit sus. Guys, someone test this. Go get, out the, go get the raft and see if you find Galactus. Maybe like at pool one, you're supposed to get like Galactus and Thanos more often. Because it's like, ooh, these cards exist. I didn't know. Honestly, I think that's a legit theory. I think it's a legit theory right now, ladies and gents. It does kind of make sense, right? You're like, oh my god, Thanos and Galactus are in this video game. That's fucking awesome, dude. Uh, thanks for the cube, son. What am I missing here, guys? Can somebody please tell me what I'm missing here? It's the Shang-Chi! No. 
Oh my god, it's the squirrel. The squirrel! Thanks for the fucking cubes, bro. Let's go! I'm coming for you, Freddy. I'm coming for you, son. I want my record back. This has been a very, 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 very... We need this kind of pace, mate. We might be doing this one in about 40 minutes, which Freddy did a couple of times around 40 minutes. He had a couple of segments. Oh, shit. A couple of segments at around 40 minutes. It's the same opponent again. They're a Boomer Zuma. Not very good. Uh, but they do have some pay to win cards. I regret not playing my Rocket Raccoon on one. You saucy baka. Enchantress would be nice just so I can play Enchantress. Okay, Bishop this early is good, but like Bishop in Shuri's lap is hot garbaggio. Oh my god, they have so much energy in there. There's so many uh, high energy cards in their hand right now, guys. This is insane. This is flipping crazy right now. Alright, please don't discard the Hulk. Thank you. I don't know if this was good. The Isle of Silence is a problem. In it. Get in there! I like this guy. They're quick with the retreats. They snap when they're losing. Quick, let's queue into them again. They have a pretty good deck though, but... Spider-Man! Spider-Man! Does whatever a Spider-Man does. I'm gonna hold that man for the Angela value. Alright, this is the hot location time, ladies and gents. Bullying new players, sad cat. Dude, it's Spider-Man. Is Silver Surf worth pinning? Probably not. I don't know. I mean, it is, but it just feels bad buying cards which were... For flip sake, man! Because, oh, yeah, you can. Where's my Enchantress? Goose? I am. Oh, this dies. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this dies! Oh. Fair enough. But they're going to slam a bunch of cards. Be a loss. Get him. Victory. Yeah, I think Surfer's due to drop very soon, so don't don't get it. Yeah. Spider Man, Spider Man. The thing is, like, the really important part of this run is like the last couple, like, ten couple hours or so, because you're playing against real people and your MMR is increasing slowly, right? If you can continue winning, your MMR is going to increase so quickly that eventually our MMR is going to be like beyond the uh, the normal players and we'll just queue into loads of bots. 
on the last little push. Which I think is probably why Freddy's like last couple segments are super, super quick because he got into bot MMR. Oh, for flip sake, man. Right, White Queen, please. Where are you? Guys, can we hit 200 likes on YouTube right now? I appreciate you. Thanks. We're 180. 180! The snap emote strategy seems to have fizzled. It has. Not! It has not. I mean, we could run. I'll be honest. Like, they have a flipping APOC. They probably got a Hulk. But we might find the White Queen. They're snapping after the cable pool. All right, we need to get ourselves involved in this far right location in the vault. A couple of turns to get involved over there. Moon Knight is APOC. That's big brain. All right, we'll just take the uh, ye old Enchantress. Strong guy APOC, actually. I don't think we even need to Enchantress that. It might just be our best play. I wager we just take the Iron Man, though, right? There's no way they can uh, empty their hand with APOC, I think. They need Dracula. Actually, I don't even think that, that works. Because they're always drawing a card. They need to have emptied their hand before this turn, right? Oh, God. That is bloody scary, though, isn't it? Well, right is secure. Oh, bit late, White Queen. Jesus Christ. What do we do? It's almost like we need to move the Iron Man, right? To beat the Apoc. Flipping heck. Well, if they play APOC, we just need to get ahead in two. It's not that difficult, right? This beats APOC. Oh, no, but they can move stuff. So this doesn't just beat APOC. I dubbed. Hopefully it's fine. It's close. It's certainly close. Let's go! Eight cubes on the tiebreaker. Oh, God. Squeaky bum time. We've been RNGing it. Oh, that was so, so smooth, ladies and gentlemen. We got 12 minutes back. Mystery variant, give us an Electra. Oh, my God, I called it. Let's go. I fucking called it. We should maybe stop upgrading. We might be at that point where upgrading is not worth it. We might just have the, the deck that we want. It's a bit of a wonky deck, isn't it? Like, this is not a traditional speedrun deck. This next segment for Freddy was pretty fucking slow. It was 1 hour 40. 1 hour 35, something like that. We got an Electra variant. We put it straight into the deck. You'll be able to see it in a moment. Oh, God. This is insanely good for us. All right, I should stop, stop spamming the snap emotes. I'm being a bit rude now, aren't I? It's just turned into BM suddenly. It wasn't my intention. Oh, the Mr. Sinister Craven Valley. Hello. Mr. Fantastic and then White Queen. Jesus Christ, this board. Right, this is my time to...
Go for the second Wii break of the stream. What did they- What? Guys, how? We had the nuts. How do we lose? What just happened? They played Swordmaster and it discarded Wolverine or something? Jesus. This looks like a bot name. This is our new variant. He filled my craving didn't get big. What? Oh my god, we got absolutely gamered. What a pro. That's heartbreaking though, isn't it? Enchantress is insane here. What? I guess they're not thinking about Citadel. This is a misposition as well. Yeah, and Electra is so good because of Ant Man in particular, right? Big oof for them. Oh, wow, well, see? The knowledge is so valuable that they're, they're about to spectrum us. Two, four. Uh, guys, there's a slight issue here. I lost. I didn't do the maths right. Fuck's sake, you donut. Oh my god, we're choking. What? Oh god. This is a big choke. Big, big choke. This is one of the first big misplays we've made in a while. Was the TVA one an 8 cube or a 4 cube? It was just for 4, right? So we just lost 8 cubes in a row. The good news is our rank 60, like we shaved off some time. And this is a slow one for Freddy, but then it just gets so quick that we really just want to be going into rank 70 like with a decent lead to secure the, the, the speed run. This is like squeaky bum time right now. Are you going to turn one snap every game? Yeah, you're right. I should turn two snap more often. But yeah, you're probably right. Otherwise, I forget to snap. These, these losses don't just set you back cubes, they also set back your hidden MMR, right? So it takes longer to escape bots. I'm asking them to snap. We're allowed to do it once per game. Maybe like once at the start and once in the middle. It's only four times per game, so I have to hit them with both. Bad positioning on Mr. Phantasmo, really, really bad actually. It's a horrific play. We play the Electra because they might play something, but moreover, it's just two, pe two points extra on Craven. How do you end up facing mainly bots? Because in um, pool one, you can only queue against other pool one players, and your hidden MMR is going to get so high that there's no real players to queue into. Every player on Snap has a hidden MMR. 
And obviously, like, you can only play a certain amount of games as a pool one player before, like, you go to pool two, right? So it makes sense that if you get a super high MMR while you're still in pool one, there's going to be no one to play against but bots. Let's go for the intel play. They're still trying to win the right, really, now. Seems, uh... Controversial. Onslaught is a threat. Okay, they're not. They're trying to win mid. I think I have Enchantress. I should have moved the Nightcrawler and then moved the Nightcrawler in. Plus two. Plus two. It doesn't matter, though. God, you bully all these newbies, but I'm saying hell off because of the face you make when you emote. What face do I make? Oh no. GG. This split's gonna take a while because of the eight cube. The eight cubes we lost to begin it with. We're, we're below where we started this rank. Uh. The record is Freddy Babe's record. You got Dino. Dare has also tried to build, uh, beat this record a bunch of times. I only tried once and I gave up when I was ahead. I just had such bad RNG. But I had the I have the legacy record, if you like, before they increased the amount of cubes you got when you hit like a milestone. Like instead of like I'm at 65 right now, right? Previously you would have gone to 61 after hitting rank 60. So it's my record to steal back, basically. Will the deck change much? Probably not. I mean, again, this is not a typical way. This is not a typical uh, approach for the speed run. The typical approach is Kazoo. Now, the Sentinel actually comes back at three, believe it or not. Some weird little uh, white bars appear sometimes. It seems like it's when Captain America's played. Would also make sense why I've not noticed that before because no one plays Captain America. I feel like Captain America is a little bit worse than he deserves to be. He could uh, be a bit better. Using the same deck all the way, pretty much. We've just been playing good stuff like Hulk, Iron Man, Mr. Fantastic. And then we've just been adding new cards as we get them like Angela and Electra. Also, Enchantress was an early pull, which has been not quite as good as I expected, but she's been good. I'm enjoying the White Queen a lot too, instead of JJ. All right, info. Enchantress is popping off. We look good. We are man mid. We move the Nightcrawler right. Oh my god, I'm scared. I am Iron Man. This Iron Man mid is not the one. Jesus Christ, mate. Where's my Enchantress in this matchup again? I think we have to run. We know we know Spectrum's coming. Spectrum goes mid, there are eight. I don't want to waste too much time roping. I think we just have to go next. We can't contest left, but they never play left. So I need like eight... GG. Ah, maybe I'm getting too aggressive with the snaps right now, guys. We need to fucking chill. This is the point where, like, the run is slipping from my hands. No, Spectrum. Dino is only two costs. Uh, five costs. Spectrum six. The run is slipping from my hands right now. It actually looks like Spectrum is a super legit pull one deck, though, interestingly. So we got to stop with the turn one snaps.
Rocket Raccoon always to the left, mate, in pool one meta. Never disappoints. I see an angel, I feel more like I can snap. I'm not really fearing an angel deck. Uh, I've tried to do in previous previous runs. Uh, I struggled with it, yeah. La the last run I did, I quit at around 40 because I lost so many games in a row. And I lost when I made the switch to Zoo away from Hulk and Iron Man. I also don't have Squirrel Girl right now, which I think completely eliminates the point of playing Zoo. This is a win. Fantastic Crawler and Raccoon mid, then you Sentinel right and you win against Spectrum mid. Maybe, but we, we could have lost the Spectrum right still. I can have a lot of vibranium. Avengers! Assemble. All systems go. No, we're still playing Enchantress, we just haven't drawn her. Man, we're still below where we started rank uh, this uh, this segment, and we've been going for 14 minutes. This has been a horrific 14 minutes. We shaved off 12 minutes on the previous segment, but oof, it's come back to bite us. We got so excited. Gonna try and calm down with the turn one snaps. Gonna hold this in case we see. Um, most likely we're just going to take the Night Crawler, are we benefit for that high rolled? So many Spectrum gamers right now. Surprised. We have 18 here already. Onslaught is a little bit scary. GG, easy win. We can't lose. If only I believed that. I think we've got him. We certainly do. Hulk! No, oh, wait for it. Hulk! Wait for it. Hulk! Oh, one more. I fucking love Hulk. What a card, man. I wish Hulk was more playable. All right, we're back where we should have been a long time ago. Again, we could consider going for Squirrel Girl if we find it, but oof, I don't even know if I want it. Definitely don't want Mantis, but especially with the hot location, Squirrel Girl seems worse. <laughs> Congrats, way above you. I got the Taco Hulk variant, nice. I think Hulk is gonna come back with High Evo. I don't exactly know what Hulk does with High Evo. I mean, it will in some capacity, hopefully. I think so, right? I think Hulk is like the, the most cracked card of the lot. I think Thanos High Evo looks really saucy. I would like to play the Nightcrawler into the Angela lane.
Uh, they did a, um, they answered that question on their Discord. Will they ever print another one? They don't plan on, but they said that if they do, they will probably give it, like, high Evo uh, another ability. Nice. This one looks like a win. Does Hulk know how to twerk? She Hulk needs to teach him, innit? Well, there's death who costs nine. So it's quite possible, right? With some cost reduction that that could happen. Uh, we just Craven mid because then we get the Angela buff. But the way that Craven works is that he he will still count all the cards that move into his location. But this way we also get the Angela buff. Should have moved Nightcrawler as well, I guess. Been having extremely bad luck with this game. Went from 79 down to 41. Rip. You probably need to retreat more, mate. Retreating is the key often to leveling up more. Like, ranking up more. Obviously, like, snapping is important. But, like, over snapping and not retreating enough is, like, the biggest, the worst thing you can do, basically, to rank up, right? Over snapping and under retreating. Like, that combo is... How you can tank so many ranks. They really want mid insane, yeah. Hey Pog Jam, how's this even possible? Well, I'm I played the game a lot. I've also played pool one a lot. And uh I'm queuing against people that haven't played the game a lot because when you're at pool one you only queue against other pool one players. Um that's basically why. Freddy Babes is the current world record holder. I had the previous record before they changed the amount of cubes it takes to hit infinite. Oh, I've done one attempt at beating his record and I was like an hour ahead at one point. Like I had a better start, but then around like the rank 40 to 50 mark, I completely and utterly bottled it. Oh, talking about dropping from 41 to 70. I mean, it's doable, right? If you're just snapping loads and not retreating enough. It's definitely very doable. That Swordmaster loves Wolverine, huh? I saw Dara get so close. How close was Dara? I'm not, I'm not aware. I'm gonna go Iron Man here and then Hulk here. Quite scary. Oh wow, are we losing? Ladies and gentlemen, I think they got us. How big was this guy? Have they moved Nightcrawler yet? It's impossible to bloody tell, mate. How big was it? Sixteen. So four. It's four points more. I don't think they've moved it, but nobody can bloody tell. It doesn't look like it's floating. So I'm going to assume that they have... 
For flip's sake, second dinner. Make this card readable. What the fuck? You're costing me my fucking speed run. Guys. Why can't I... Why can... Come on. You know I'm right, chat. Why can you not tell if this flipping card has moved or not? Shit. There's only an extra two cubes. See, I make so many mistakes that like you could do the speedrun so quickly. I'm still on like big. Potentially big speed, but nice. Skill issue. True. Bifrost should count as the one move. Which card? Nightcrawler. You just can't tell. Chat told you it was too late. I should have roped a bit more. Nice. Infinite for the last time, congrats. I am Groot. I am Groot. Man, Groot should really play for seven. It's so bad. Opponent snapped. We could have gone Rocket Raccoon instead of Phantasmo. Little greedy of me. Uh oh, they moved the Nightcrawler. Star Lord? Where what are you doing? They got my flipping Graven, dude! Bollocks! Weird world cucked me. Iron Man! Well, they don't have Odin. That much is obvious. We're probably losing, aren't we? This is me pumping the cubes away. It's close. I'm pumping. I'm fucking dumb. <laughs> fuck. 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 Oh no. The, the run is dying. I've been stuck at this same flipping rank for 25 minutes. I'm bottling it. I'm absolutely bottling it. Fuck. This is like the crunch time of the run, man. This is the biggest bit, the biggest little hurdle to get over and I'm bottling it, mate. One minute pause. No time for that. I just need to stop chasing the cubes too much. Just, like, there's a time to rope at the end, right? I didn't even rope at the end. I just slammed. Even though I kind of knew the situation was not good for me. It was really, really, really bad. No, I'm feeling pretty good about the deck. The Craven's not that that good here, is it really? Oh, I guess I just go here, of course. K 
Okay, right is basically secure, so we just go Iron Man Hulk to the left. That's an awesome Doctor Strange variant. I'm still stuck with Pixel Doctor Strange. I am Iron Man. They have five cards in hand. The first card they play gets fisted. We just need to chill, right? I don't need to chase the cubes on tight games, man. There's still a lot of bad players out there. This is the worst run we've had so far. Let's really stabilize now. This this part also took Freddy a long time. It took Freddy an hour and 37. But we've been going for 30 minutes and we've not leveled up a cube. And that, what did I just say, an hour and 37? Yeah, that did make sense. So we've got an hour to have like matched him on this one, but remember we're going in still ahead by a long time, so we're still looking pretty good. Okay. Are we going to just take Enchantress to the left here for stats? Mm. Good job. Blue Marvel is a threat. Nightcrawler. White Tiger. I am. I'm when I say a threat, I just mean, you know, it's a thing. Okay, that's actually like pretty much the best thing they could have played from here. We just slam Hulk. Sure, they can see this one. Scarlet Witch. Oh my god. Cool. Get in. Come on, chat. I want this record, man. I'm going to be heartbroken if we don't do it. About three hours to go in the run. Nice. What a start. Bye, Frost. Man, I kind of miss Medusa. We were playing Medusa for a long while, weren't we? Snap. I'm going to snap just because, like, the odds of me hitting White Queen or Enchantress are going to be pretty high. 
I've played three cards, so I've thinned. Mr. Fantastic's really good in Necroshaw. It's a speed run. We need to be aggressive and snap. That's the other reason. Oof. Punisher is very scary, no doubt. Information. Dino's not particularly particularly good. We could enchantress the mid, but we lose Phantasmo. Tricky one. Their hand is only like slightly bigger than ours. We're gonna enchantress left. Um, they're at 11. So if I play this, I'm at 12, which ties. Going for raw stats and just saying that we should win the left still. All eyes on what this card is. Sentinel left might have been better, it seems. We couldn't have won from here. There was no play I could make, which wins. I think it was great to play on, though. This wasn't a choke, this was just a bit unlucky. Yeah, they hit the claw and the dino off at it, like after shuffling the deck. Hulk left. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hulk left was doing it. Oh, would it though? Yeah, maybe you're right. This is the toughest part. Should just be lots of bots once we get past this. If you played Enchant's turn six, uh, hmm. Yeah, and I haven't been doing enough bot milking. Retreat was probably the best. I don't know. I think the play was pretty reasonable. Strange Academy is a really nice one if it is a bot to try and farm. Because we can just stack our location, like one location. If this is a bot, they should snap now. Odin onto Wolfsbane could be a thing, but before he's going to Hulk the right. Should be a win. Odin mid is the biggest threat. It's very likely they're going to Odin mid, isn't it? The good news is we just beat Odin mid with Hulk to the right. Oh, uh, actually, that's not true. Oh my god. I'm so lucky. I lost anyway. It's a cheating bot, guys. A fucking cheating bot. This play is a cheating bot play. Makes no sense. The cheating bot realizes this play wins 100% of the time as opposed to. A normal play which would win 50% of the time. Where's the Lady Sifa? I'm 
I'm not really sure why I'm still upgrading stuff. I think we're not changing anything. Oh, mate. La laugh my ass off. What? It's a cheating bot. I'm not like uh, salty that I lost. It was literally a cheating bot. We identified it was a bot very early on, and there's bots which cheat. They have Daredevil Vision on turn six, and if they have a play that can win, they make it. That's just a part of the speed run. Usually what happens is you get little pockets of cheating bots. Where you queue into quite a lot of cheating bots in a short period of time. Oh, oh god, I maybe shouldn't have snapped. Might be in trouble. Laughing cry. Is, are, you, are these like laughing cry emojis like to suggest that I'm fibbing or something? I'm just like. Oh man, this is looking like a struggle. We might actually just have to accept that we're losing this one mid and play it differently. Oh, what? This is going so bad. And I snapped. Three plus Iron Man, that's a good point, yep. Well. We can Iron Man the right and then maybe Hulk the left. Dude, bit his shirt in frustration. I'm not upset, the game just cheats. I literally can't with this guy. <laughs> You're such a fucking clown, dude. It's like you didn't listen to anything I said. I like, obviously I'm mad I lost the game. Doesn't change the fact that like it's a cheating bot. I'm not saying the bot is physically cheating, it's just the name of the bots. You fucking inbred man. I know why you aren't a watcher anymore. What does that even mean? Dude, this guy is such a wanker, mate. Like, dude. <laughs> what is this guy doing? Dude, you're embarrassing yourself, please. Have you not got something better to be doing for your Sunday evening or have you got no friends? Oh, wait, we all know the answer to that one. <laughs> what is this attempt at banter, dude? You're such a clown. Get out of here, man. Like, you are actually winding me up for a bit with the laughing crying emojis. Fair play, but yeah, you've lost you've lost your touch, dude. <laughs> I mean, I could ban him, but like, why would I? <laughs> Guys, just uh, giving us a little bit of midstream entertainment. I am a bitch. <laughs> okay, that's nice. You got me there, dude. I'm gonna go cry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dude cried this entire stream. Useless fuck. <laughs> Mate, honestly, it, you were doing quite well with the whole trolling thing, but... Yeah, you, re you really lost your touch, mate. All right, what do we do here? Let's focus up. The Iron Man on five option is something we could do with having like another option almost, right? Like it's so committal. Like it's a big problem that we're experiencing quite frequently. We know the onslaught's coming here and it looks like we're losing. We might, it might be time to tweak the decks. Because we're actually starting to really struggle with the Iron Man on 5 play. The Brits need to be dealt with. So we're being racist now? Wow. Okay. This guy is... Uh... Any, have you got any closing mar remarks, KV, before you get banned?
You are trash. Oh my god. Wow, that was a real high note to end on. Good job, dude. <laughs> what a real high note to leave it on, guys. Can we get some Keck buys in the chat, please? Oh no, not this piece of garbage. Um, wow. Okay, bye dude, see you. Have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you so much for supporting the stream. I really appreciate it, mate. Uh, it's actually 50 pounds. How long have you- Wait, you've been watching all this time? Oh no. You just- You just uh, admitted that you've been watching the stream for like three hours, dude. Uh-oh. Eat my dick. <laughs> this guy was watching when I mentioned that I do, uh... Coaching for 50 pounds an hour. Which was like three hours ago. <laughs> tricky one this, isn't it? It is a tricky one. We need the Hulk, man. No, I popped in and out. That's a little, you get a little defensive there. I know why you are a depressed fat fuck. Yes. Yeah, I'm what? What's your point? I am depressed. Yes. I am very depressed. And I'm fat. And your mum loves it. Uh oh, Wolverine. Flip! Oh, we beat it still. Cool. Victory. Grow the fuck. Mm hmm. Dude, like. Have you. Imagine circle jerking with other fat fucks. <laughs> this is so weak. Oh dear, this guy's just comedy. How could I ban someone that's got such good comedic... Uh... Skills. This guy's definitely not mad, by the way. <laughs> the gifted sub? Let's go! Thank you so much. I don't know who did it, because uh, I'm oblivious. I shouldn't have Rocket Raccoon here, this made no sense. Yo, Luffy with a gifted sub. Also, we had Norax at the Prime, dude. Thank you guys so much. And also, I just want to say a big thank you to KVV, KVVHP with the sub, dude. I appreciate your support so much. Imagine being British and calling someone else inbred. Fucking amazing. I'm loving the casual racism right now. It's very hot. Very epic, mate. So, KVV, is there any other, like, snap streams you prefer to me? Like, is there maybe... Like, if you let me know which other snap streams you like, I can maybe try and, you know, improve my content a bit. I'd really appreciate it. You are fucking hopeless. Uh, that wasn't actually my question. I am Iron Man. Are English inbred? Uh, I mean, the royal family is. In fairness. I don't owe you an answer. Okay, you uh, honestly, that's actually true. You don't. Good job. Wow. I'm now on the edge of my seat. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go to bed at night. All I'm gonna be able to think about is, who is KVV HP's favorite Marvel Snap streamer?
That's all for Cuba. Fucking inbred. Oh, wait, but I called you inbred. And now you're using my insult against me. Guys, we haven't climbed any cubes in 40 minutes. The run is evaporating in front of our very eyes. You are going to bed with my name in your mouth. Yeah, that's exactly it. I am going to... All I'm going to be able to think about is you, mate. As I go to bed, this has been such a huge part of my day. The KVV coming into the chat. It's just all I can think about, mate. When I when I finish, go back to my wife and tell her about my day. She's going to be like, babe, this KVV guy, he called me an inbred. It's really hurt my feelings. And then he called me a fat, depressed fuck. Yeah, the turn one snaps probably do need to stop. In, in fairness, turn one snap here is because I have Craven. All right, KVV, are, are you bored yet? Like, you're still here, then maybe it's time to go. You are literally quoting me. What does that other word mean? I'm not I'm not familiar with this word. Could you please give me a TLDR? Or like, a, explain to me like I'm five? English is not a strength of mine, dude. Please don't flex on me with your big words. You are inbred. Google it. Okay, well, I will. Thank you. Oh, snap. From the country that made language and asking for definitions? Yes. Yes, I am. So, can you help me out? Ooh, the Craven. Man, it's really sad the speedruns died in the last uh, 30 minutes. We really dropped the ball. It's looking tough. He said he was fat and depressed himself. Oh yeah, I am. So depressed. I mean, I'm fine, fellas. <laughs> I don't really care. I'm pretty, I'm feeling pretty confident. Lost a lot of weight, feeling good. Went on a little bike ride this morning, had some salad. Please don't tell me I lose to Iron Man, guys. Alright, let's go. Oh, to be fair, I am a mouth breather. That is, you actually have got me there. I am a big mouth breather. Thank you for drawing that to my attention. I've actually been recently uh, trying to learn to breathe from my nose. Mate, it's actually mind blowing. Like what a difference it makes when you breathe through your nose. Like on my run yesterday I did, it was my longest run I've done in like three years. And I've almost perfected the, the nose breathing. As you can tell though, like naturally I'm just mouth breathing without thinking about it, right? So I also want to get some like tape for my mouth when I'm sleeping. Mate, there's so many health benefits for, if you guys are mouth breathers like myself, like mate, there's so many health benefits to um, breathing through your nose. It's insane. Tape your mouth at night. Yeah, I'm gonna start doing that soon. Guys, can I, uh, one sec. I don't want to take too long because of the speed run, but.
Guys, can I get some exclamation mark reavers in the chat? In the chat? <laughs> I snapped already here for Craven. This guy's just adding to the entertainment, mate. The vibes in here are fantastic now. Thank you so much, man. I really do appreciate the support, KVV. And thank you so much for the sub, mate, as well. I hope, uh, hope this is a sort of a budding relationship between you and I. I really do appreciate it, mate, more than you know. When you're commenting the bell again, you skipped the shaving. Yeah, probably. Nina roasted me so hard. She was like, dude, what did you do to your face? <laughs> Looks like a win. I didn't think he was banning me. LF, LMFAO. I don't care if he does. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whatever you say, mate. If you say it enough times, you, you might even start to believe it yourself. What the hell? Yeah, nice. Eight cubes. That one's for you, RV, my boy. Wait, R oh, KV. <clears throat> Sorry. I almost forgot your name there. That would have been awkward, wouldn't it? Imagine you trying to be smart by actually being a mouth reaver. <laughs> Yo, Lance. Oh, but he's just too entertaining, mate. Have a good Lance. I'm literally laughing. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Yo, Z, what's up? Hey, Z, have you met KVHP here? Really lovely guy. Ban me, I don't give a fuck. Oh, this guy is hard. If you search hard bastard on Google Images, do you know what comes up? It's KV. It just is. We snap him bishop on three when they miss their bishop, I think. But we're going to leave him, Lance, for a little while. He's just too... Why, did he get banned? Oh, see you, KV. Lance has stepped up. Yo, Romboski, thanks so much for the Prime and also a Matty Mini with the Tier 1. Guys, I really appreciate that. It's very kind of you. Okay, I think we need to unban him, Lance. We need to give him one more chance to apologize. Yo, Combustion with the Prime as well. I think we need to unban him and see it. Like, we'll give him one chance to apologize, right? KV, listen very carefully, son. You have exactly one message right to prove your worth and then we're going to go to a twitch poll to decide if you get banned or not right so we're going to let you have one message then lance is going to ban you after you've sent your one message and then we're going to have a vote to see if you get unbanned all right so make sure like prepare yourself take your time all right i believe in you yo thanks so much for the hype train guys that's awesome Thank you, KV, for inspiring the chat. Uh, we had Luffy with the gifted in the, uh, with the prime of the gifted. KV, we had Norek. Thank you, Matty Million, for the sub. Ramboski, so much. Uh, Combustion and TMS Killerat. Guys, thank you all so much for the subs. I really, really appreciate it. It means a lot. Um. Guys, if he says it, please let me know like what, what he says, because I might miss it. The speedrun died, mate. He said, eat a dick. <laughs> That's actually better than I expected. 
Seriously, I love how big of a failure you are. Mm -hmm. He said he was truly sorry and loves you long time. Oh, KV, that's so sweet. KV, I love you too, man. Listen, I know you've had a hard day. Whatever you're going through in your life at the moment, I really hope. Seriously. You find peace. One love. And I really mean that, dude. Wait, 25 gifted? Huh? Oh my, what the flipping heck? Bruh? Holy shit. Bruv? What? Oh my god. TMS Killer Rat just gifted 25 subs to the community. Dude. Dude, that's insane. I'm so grateful. I really appreciate it more than you could know. Thank you so much for the support. I'm going to tear up. Also, stay a with the Prime. Thank you. Hype train level seven. Jeez. Thank you, TMS. Hopefully we can do it. I appreciate you so much. All right, let's go Hulk mid. We're looking good with the Craven on the final turn. If we have initiative, Craven can be played from hand here, and we will have initiative, so we're all good. It's the surprise value Craven. Whatever. I think this is fine. The longer I rope. Craven still counts. Because I have initiative. It's the same as Kingpin. I could be playing Kingpin here. If you have initiative, it's going to count everything. <laughs> I started doubting myself for a moment there. Dude, KMS, thank you. Sorry, I can't read through who got all the subs Ricky. right now. Ricky with the Prime, what's up? 18 months. Thank you. What deck is this? We're playing Port 1. We just have like a mid-range good stuff kind of deck. We're 37 minutes ahead of Freddy's record right now. But well, we're not actually, we need to, we're barely level, right, with Freddy's record. We, like, we need to get to rank 70 in 36 minutes to be level. We we had a big lead, but. We went on a really bad streak. Fortunately, we're kind of pulling it back. You know, I, he will still be here lurking, yeah. I mean, he was literally watching the stream for like three hours, bruv. Popped in to say thank you for your vid, King Space. You've been playing the decks in it, and I've been having so much fun. Let's go. Glad to hear that, Z. Guys, if you don't know Z, Z is a really wonderful Marvel Snap streamer. Dude. What? The hell. What? The fucking hell just happened. Guys, am I tripping? Did I just get... Did TMS just get 25 more? Oh. oh my god. Mate, you've, you've basically just increased my sub count by 50% on your own. Mate. Thank you immensely from the bottom of my heart.
Hey GK, do you know any we're good for Marvel Snap tournaments? Yeah, if you join, join my Discord, if anyone could do exclamation mark Discord so the restream bot posts it to YouTube, please. Um, on my Discord, there's a bunch of them listed. It's like a really nice community tool. So Iron Man should do it, right? Claw. We could also try this. Oh, this is a weird one, man. We could also try like Mr. Fantastic Sentinel Electro or something. We're not winning the right at all there, though. We play. Did we play White Queen? What do we draw from them, guys? White Queen. So they're most likely splitting the lanes. No way. Oh, it's eight cubes. Oh, man. Yo, oh my God. What is going on over here? TMS has gifted 50 subs. Insane. I've never had a hype train so high. I don't think in my whole bloody life. This is ridiculous. We got Tonk again with the Prime. Thank you. Corporate Oni and Ritz with the gifted. Guys, thank you so much. I really want to make sure I get this speed run for you. If we don't do it today, I might try again tomorrow, you know. I really want to do it today, though. Yeah, like this segment, we've already taken five minutes more than Freddy did on this segment. But we were ahead going into it. Which is not distracting. You're not distracting me. I didn't look at chat for a long time. This wasn't a throw, though. Like, in fairness, this was just a... Tough loss. We could switch to Kazar decks, it's possible. Maybe it's the time to switch for it because it's not been going too well for us. This deck definitely was popping off, but we have no Squirrel Girl. I think Squirrel Girl is too important for Kazar decks. Hulk was bad. Yeah, but I wanted to play the Electra to be Onslaught. They had Onslaught in the deck, surely. I want to hold the Enchantress if I can. Heartbreaking. But we're winning the right if they don't blue Marvel us, that is. You wouldn't be surprised. We're adding four points. We're at 13, so we could do this, maybe. It's blue Marvel every time. So this puts me at 13. Which is losing to Marvel. This puts me at 15. I'm just losing to Marvel, man. Alright, looks like I need to switch. 
It looks like we've overstayed our welcome on Iron Man. Like, it seems like a really good deck to start with, but this seems like the real time we have just stopped winning, man. Probably could have made this call a long time ago. But it's good experience for our next speed run, right? We went a different unorthodox approach with this one with the Iron Man Hulk stuff and it really did work out until a certain point. Oh, we found the Squirrel Girl. Let's fucking go, chat. Holy shit. It's meant to be. What else do I want in this deck, ladies and gents? Sentinel still, probably. Blade. Rocket Raccoon. Maybe we want Korg. Onslaught? You think I want Onslaught? You guys think? I guess. Nah, we want to slam loads of one drops on the last turn, right? I don't have Bishop. I don't think we want Onslaught, guys. We can still do it. Make no mistake. We are... If we can finish this part of the run. We're about two hours away. But the problem is... I think this part of the run is super crucial. Where we've been too slow. Because we need to escape. We're at like the highest MMR possible that's not bots. We should have made the switch, but now we hit Squirrel Girl, we're looking alright. We have basically everything we want apart from Bishop. I don't even think Bishop's that good, I think it's very overrated actually. Yeah, this is the deck. We should have switched sooner, but... In fairness, we didn't have Squirrel Girl, so... We could have only got it a little bit sooner. Was the previous record done? No, no. I had the previous world record with the plus 50 when it wasn't like that my that record was never beaten i did it in like 11 hours and a half this one is freddy's record with this uh, i've done one attempt to beat it and i quit halfway through uh, i was like an hour ahead but i just started choking like way earlier on though i choked around like rank 40 or so that the previous time i switched to kazoo and i started doing really badly whereas this time it looks like I didn't switch soon enough. I tried just tunnel visioning on the She-Hulk, uh, on the Iron Man Hulk deck, which I think, I think I've got it down that that is the, the right thing to do for a long time, but at some point I'm supposed to switch off of it. Maybe we do just need like a big card to slam like an onslaught though, because that is something we're lacking right now. Maybe should have just electrode the right. I'd be overthinking it a bit. Yeah, it won't be a bot with this name. <laughs> I can guarantee that. Five, six. It's another loss, isn't it? Escaped. Maybe we do need the uh, the onslaught people were suggesting. It's just like a card to slam. Don't own it. Go on, man. Go 
Ay, ay, ay. It's all gone very pear shaped. Yeah, I wasn't winning left by a point. <laughs> hmm. Usually this would be good, but now I'm playing Kazoo. I'm not so sure that it is. Don't really like how I played this. It's that point of the stream where like the focus has kind of gone a bit and it's like probably the most important time to be hyper focused. We can still do it, we've got about two hours. The reason I just don't like this play is because I filled up the right. I turn it like couple turns too early. Who watches the watcher? I didn't realize I had a whole other turn here. That helps a bit. We also could put Enchantress in this one, but Enchantress seems... Like, the problem with Enchantress against the Blue Marvel Kazar decks is that they, they were always having last say, right? So I would Enchantress them on, like, four. And then the Kazar would go through or something like that. Moon Girl, that is not very typical. We're looking good, though. Blue Marvel scary. Oh, we're still playing Enchantress? I see. Please no blue marvel. Ay ay ay. Well, if they play anything, their dino mid is uh, getting hit. So we beat Double Dino. They would need to play something else mid. My worry is Blue Marvel, but it's not Blue Marvel. We might be good. Electra mid, probably. Get in. Oh, chat, it's heartbreaking. We've been... How long? At this? An hour and 20. And we've gone up like 20 cubes. It's a big choke. Now, come on, was definitely not better because it was killing all our stuff. Red Kazar. I would have killmongered this game had I not already played Ant-Man, but it made no sense when I'd already done that. Quite liking the setup we have at the moment with the deck. Feels quite nice. Let's try and win Haller, I guess. Be aggressive. It might disappear anyway with base. Cool. 
Craven? Captain America, see it's bugged. Let's hold the Enchantress, we might get some more value on it later. I'm gonna snap, because I have Enchantress. Against what looks like some kind of uh, Spectrum deck. Controversial. We skipped turn three. But mate, if we're gonna break this record, we need to be aggressive. Got 19 minutes to tie level with Freddy, rank 70 check mark. But let's not forget, he went on an absolute mission after rank 70. The last two splits are insanely quick. It's like he just played bots. It's a four power cut, four energy card. I think we lose. This is heartbreaking, man. Oh, snap. We'll have to try again tomorrow, guys. It's looking unlikely. We can still do it. It's not all over. But this... this We've really just struggled, right? This is like the, cru the most difficult part of the run, and it's proven to be a little bit too difficult for us in this case. I might also not be able to try again tomorrow because of the uh, the issue of making a new account. It's not so simple. But the plan is to do at least... Basically, the plan is to do one of these a month at the end of every month. Do one. Hype train complete. Oh my god. 68% of level 9. 60 sub gifts. Jesus. Thanks, uh, Ritzy, for the gifted to daddy. Thank you again, so, uh, Ritzy, to the gifted to Omalti Van. Corporate Tony with the Prime. Toka Gamer with the Prime. TMS with the 50 gifted is absolutely obscene, and I'm so grateful. Ricky with the Prime. Stake Attorney with the Prime. KMS with the sub. Combustion with the Prime. Rimboski with the Prime. And Matty Million with the sub. Luffy with the Prime. And the gift. And Norik with the Prime. Thank you guys so, so much. Is it easier or harder to just challenge you in a hot location? It depends on the hot location. Is the honest answer. We could have gone Ant-Man's Nightcrawler Sentinel to improve the odds of hitting a big card here, to be honest. Enchantress mid off the top would be really nice. Oh, hello. For fuck's sake, man.
Can we ever do this? We're at five. Opponent snapped. This is six, so we're at eleven. I'm going for it. We have to play for eight cubes, guys. We can't afford to lose any more games. We might Yo Mario, what's up? Lovely to see you. Uh we were popping off, but unfortunately we've hit a really bad streak. We were forty minutes ahead of Freddy. And we're about to be dead level, if not slightly behind. But we win an 8 Cuba. Love to see you, man. I hope you're good. Come on, chat. Come on. Oh my god. 20 cubes in 1 hour 20. Oh my god. That's abysmal. That's absolutely Bishop. No bishop. Let's try and get bishop, I guess. We have a couple more upgrades and then we're done. This is around the, the point you cap out. Onslaught also would be interesting, I guess. Probably the last card we get on the run. Brilliant. <laughs> the Watcher. Not what we're looking for. Let's not forget, we're not that far away from bot, bot MMR. I think we really bottled it at the crucial time. If we could have just really popped off this it seems like if we can I, th I think i've got it to a point where next time i do the run i'm feeling super confident i can like beat it by a really long shot now we've hit the raft three times today we've won the raft three times and we've hit galactus every single time so i have a conspiracy theory that you can only get galactus or thanos off the raft in pool one or is this like gonna motivate people to play more like oh i don't know what that card is so let's see is the conspiracy true Galactus or Thanos. <clears throat> okay, another flipping useless one. I mean, this is a series four, three or four or five. It's not series three. The conspiracy kind of continues. Not really. I'm clutching at straws now. Look at this dude. It's insane. We hit three Galactuses and a Null off the raft in this run. <laughs> Unbelievable. A little bit scared of Enchantress to the right, so maybe this wasn't the brightest position. Okay, it looks unlikely. Is Iron Man going to be enough? It's the only option. It looks a bit dodgy, doesn't it? But we're not conceding. That much is clear. I should have Iron Man left. I'm, uh, this is just shite play, isn't it? In fairness, their play is also a bit shite. Never punish. Let's go, chat. Eight cubes. Didn't deserve it, but we get there. Victory. <sighs> the dream is still alive, ladies and gentlemen.
We're 10 minutes. If we can get ten, if we're at 10 minutes, we're level. The last card, surely. Bishop. Heimdall. We've got to be super aggressive and escape the real players and get to the bot MMR, which we have to be very close to. This is the thing, right? Like, if we could have done this last, like, little segment a lot quicker, like, we'd rush through it. But because we choked so many games and just stagnated, it takes... It also means that you're playing against way more real players than you otherwise would because you don't get into bot MMR quick enough. If you understand what I'm saying. Snap. This is definitely the deck, though, right? Like... I think Iron Man, Hulk stuff early, but then around like rank 60, we should be making the switch. Maybe need like one more one drop. Maybe Korg. Yeah, Korg would be good. Thing is, what would we cut? You can't cut Sentinel. I think we need like the Iron Man. It's just like a way of brute forcing a location. The Vibranium actually sounds quite nice here. We definitely don't want an Electra until later. We're going to play Kazar to the right, probably. Blue Marvel to the left, probably. And then we've got the three lanes open for the final turn. Would it be going for a low MMR? No, because you're just going to waste so much time. And then by the time you hit rank 100, you'd be at like an MMR. Still right. Because like if you look at Freddy's splits, you can see how quick the last two were because he actually hit got to the point where he was queuing into a bot. You want to escape the MMR. April is my first snap month. What time season starts? I think it's like Tuesday. It depends. It's like Tuesday morning if you're European. Wednesday evening. Uh, Monday evening if you're American. I'll be live on patch day and I'm going to do what I'm going to try and do every patch day moving forwards, which is infinite in one day. I got close uh, this month. I got to 89 and then my internet died. No, I had a power cut. I had two, pa I had internet died twice that day and I had a power cut. That was not ideal and we still almost did it. Yeah, the se new season, that is exactly what I mean, yeah. How do we play this one? We can't kill the Vibranium. It seems like Electra should go mid. I guess Enchantress is going mid because I can't play her any anywhere else. Should be good. Yeah, it's out of 70, James. What's up, man? It'll be good. But as you can see, Freddy also took a long ass time on this split. Here we go. Oh, it's close. I think we win. The Vibranium paid for no points here for them because JJ doesn't buff. Let's go, mate. Oh my god, we might actually do it, guys. We're six minutes behind Freddy's split. We can still fucking do it, guys. Oh my god. The belief. We're on an absolute rampage right now. I think this is a new card as well, if I'm not mistaken. Bishop. No. I don't even know how much I want Bishop, honestly. I feel, feel like it's overrated. Pretty sure that will be the last card, but I've said that before. I guess when we hit like rank 80 and rank 90, we get more resources.
Thanks, Javier. Appreciate you. That's not very good. Imagine we had the Iron Man in hand. Looks like we might get one more card. Yeah, retreat, save time, innit? All right. Four minutes behind Freddy Split for the first time since rank 10. It looks like he has gained on us. Could be a bot. So we want to stack the lanes. We don't want to play Squirrel Girl till late. So I hit a brick wall. It happens to a lot of people. I don't want to play Electra because it's Captain America. You can just tell it's weird. Captain America's bugged when he comes down. There's like little weird lines on the screen. I'm stacking the lane because I think it's a bot. And if it is a bot, stacking the lanes means that they're going to snap me this turn because they're ahead because of this Colossus. Oh, they're not going to be ahead in 2 out of 3 because of Craven though. I'm going to assume. It's going to be close. Okay, they're not going to snap us. Spoiler alert. Big game. We're one minute thirty seconds behind Freddy. It's an eight cuba. They go mid. It's claw. We beat claw. It's not even close. I am Iron Man. I want my record back, guys. No one actually beat my world record time. They just changed the system. We're five away. We're neck and neck. Holy smokes, this could be an exciting finish. It seems like we've escaped purgatory. We're going to Rocket Raccoon on two. We're going to ask them to snap. Yondu's a pretty bad card. Blue Marvel is a good card for them to hit though. Bifrost is a ball lake. Nice. Angela? Oh my god, let's go. Let's go, mate. Well, it hasn't been bot sweet, but it looks like we're, we've we hit the bot MMR. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's an MMR that we just had to break through, but we were really struggling. It took us like an hour to get through it. Now, can we get the snap from them somehow? Doesn't seem likely. So we're so far ahead to the right. 
I mean, the right is secure, but the, the issue is, can I win this middle lane? It's not as easy as it might look, I think. Enchantress is on. Oh, it hits that, man. I'm so dumb. It's not on most stats. I just threw. Less stats than Kazar. Flip. I am still planning on Kazar, and that's okay. Kill the Ant Man. That was big brain, guys. <laughs> Never punished. We're one cube behind. We're 40 seconds behind, guys. Victory. We're one cube off the pace. You can cut the knife of attention. Cut the attention with a knife here. We are breaking this record next time, though. We just choked. We did not have a smooth run, and like we're still neck and neck. Bishop is here. Do we put it in the deck, guys? I don't think so. Why am I upgrading cards then if I don't even put the card in the deck? Let's think about it during this game, what we put in for Bishop. Is Bishop even good? It's okay if you find it on three, it sucks otherwise. We have to get rid of Enchantress. Enchantress feels more valuable. But maybe Enchantress has too much anti-synergy. Are we still playing Mr. Fantastic? Oh, <gasps> oh my god, I shit my pants. Thanks, Battle Battalion. Take care, mate. Thanks so much for supporting and hanging out in the stream. Yeah, I feel like Bishop is very overrated at this stage in the game. Kind of want to match up my Craven with his Captain America here. So less points, but it means I'm not committed fully to a location. Yeah, Craven would be Bishop, that's true. It certainly wouldn't be Craven. We don't want to play Squirrel Girl, it just gives up too, too much info, right? Might be Electra right and something big left. Ah, oh, it's a loss. It's GG. It's only Hawkeye. They could make Hawkeye too, but then they would probably only be buffed by one. It would probably be too strong otherwise. Just remember the re the guy. Oh yeah, what was he called? KB or something? What a baller. Four. It would be very good, I think. One point is so much. 
Like, Hawkeye's honestly not that bad. So it's not good enough. But it's also a starter card, right? Assemble. Nice. Easy two Cuba. Please just retreat now. It's over, dude. Accept defeat. Begin anew. Necroshot's really bad for us, though. So we have to kind of compete with the Captain America. With my Iron Man. Not ideal. Can move Nightcrawler in though. I am Iron Man. A strange play. Losable. I look at one point to Sunspot, right? And Sunspot played for way more points than a Hawkeye would. And one point makes such a big difference to the card. Same with Angela, right? Angela lost a point. Snap. Really sad about this, this segment from 60 to 70. Might try again tomorrow, if we don't make it. We'll start a lot earlier though, because uh, I'm busy in the evening, because Everton are playing. Everton gonna get relegated tomorrow. Nah, it wasn't the distractions though, it was just, I think we just didn't switch decks quick enough. But now I'm feeling pretty confident I have like the approach right, which is like Hulk early, Zoo late. Gonna have Dex prepared for the start? Probably not, but it's an interesting shout. I mean, I could. I guess why not? If I remember to, it's actually a really interesting shout. So for those of you, the majority of you that weren't here like five hours ago, basically the concept was, was it you that suggested it before Panda? At the start of the game, you have to switch decks a lot, but you could have like copy pasted decks ready to go. So rather than like finicking about in a deck builder. About 10 minutes behind. It just shows you, like, what a big difference one game can make when it's, like, adding 10 minutes, right? But in fairness, you know, we're going to go over the threshold when we win by quite a bit. So even though it's 10 minutes behind, it's more like 5 in that sense. This one looks like a win. Don't think there's anything to think about. It's always scary. Kazar could be a problem for us to the left. Or even mid, Kazar could be a problem. I am. I uh oh. It's Kazar. We'd be fine anyway. We'd win the tiebreaker. They only have three cards. All right. We're 10 minutes off the pace, nine minutes. Pretty good, pretty doable. But I think this is also where Freddy went turbo mode. Are you gonna be streaming until you hit infinite? Probably, that is the plan. But if we're like miles off the pace, I might call it. Cause it is late here, it's like half past 10 and I'm kind of ready for bed soon. But yeah, the plan is 
of course, to beat the record. So we should only have an hour and 40 left. And if I'm super close, I'll just keep going, I guess. This one's a win. Craven too strong, I think. Nova's a weird card to be playing. Oh my god. My fucking Craven just got discarded. Are you dizzy? Wolf Spain's a lot of points. I think we're good though. We can still put Knight, uh, the Squirrel Girl in here later. Whereas they can't. Let's just do that instead. Squirrel, squirrel Girl, I'm talking shit. Wouldn't make a difference. But Enchantress's stats. Big stats. That's what we need. It looks like a pretty easy win, doesn't it? We probably just hold Blue Marvel until the last turn just to surprise value them. They might think they've got it and they might stay in. Blue Marvel and Kazar would be a little scary for us, I guess, but I think we'd beat that even. Unfortunately, we get ahead here, so if it's a retreating bot, they might retreat because they're lo losing on board. But if they have Blue Marvel, we might have baited them into saying. Victory. 32 minutes, Freddy. We've got to do this in 32 minutes, guys. Like, the pace is ridiculous at this point. Utterly bonkers. This is what I'm saying. We need to be go like, we needed to have a bigger lead going into rank 10. Uh, rank 20, rather. We should be like a good 10, 15 minutes ahead at that point. We had a pretty bumpy run. And then by like rank 40, we should be over an hour ahead. Then we just need to try and keep it up as much as we can. We just blipped too, too much. Quite like the other sacred timeline. I'm gonna see, keep snapping on one, mate. I don't know. Nice. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Fred, the rank bump was in place before Freddy's record. Before the rank bump, I had the record of on the previous way of doing it. That's why I want to get my record back. This is my second attempt to beat it. The first one I gave up after a couple hours. It's also my first attempt in a long time, so I'm feeling pretty rusty. We could have gone for Sacred Timeline, Phil. Big. But I'm just looking at Squirrel Go in Washington and thinking that's not the best bet. Oh God. So Odin puts nine points there. How many points am I getting mid? I'm getting squirrel is four plus three, is seven, nine, lock it in, send it. 
get in. The game only have pool one and two cards. How would you rate in comparison to full game? Um, I think it would be a bit unbalanced, right? Like Electra would be super OP. Like when it was back in pool one, like pool one is super fun. It's really well done. But yeah, like pool one, it would be pretty imbalanced, right? I mean, the Enchantress buff has actually made it a lot more interesting, funnily enough. Same guy. Chancellor's buff is super significant for the pool one meta. Dino's pretty okay as well, yeah. Oh, we've got an eight cuba, ladies and gents. The hand's not the best, I'll be honest. We have no turn one. Craven is what we're looking for. That's a good start, though. Wow. Come on, hurry up, man. There's a surprising amount of deck variety, though, right? You've got, like, Odin stuff. You've got... But yeah, the, the cards, I think, would also be balanced differently, right? Because, like, you, they would be able to balance the cards more effectively if it was just pool... Just pool, pool, pool one, pool two that was in the game, right? Because at the moment, like, for example, a card like... Um, what's a good example? Odin... It's good in pool one, but obviously it's got more synergies in pool three and etc. Right, so therefore it can't be really any better than it currently is. Oh my! I guess we're slamming Iron Man. Bit controversial. Could have gone boo hoo hoo Marvel. I am Iron Man. I am Iron Man. Where's had the Craven? I could have gone for. Should have. That Enchantress last scan is a really good point, thanks. Well, we might be losing then. They missed it. Easy. Not playing the Craven seems like an error. Get in. Looks like it's an 8 Cuba. The dream is alive, I think. I don't want to talk to you, to say it too soon because. <gasps> oh my god, the dream is alive, guys. The fucking dream's alive, it's an 8 Cuba. Batman, we're in. Twenty-five minutes. About twenty-four minutes. You just need to crawl back some time, right? This split was thirty-four minutes. The next split he took even longer on. This is his quickest split, thirty-four minutes, I think. Oh mate, this guy fucking loves it. Whiskey. What a Chad. I'm gonna get whiskey tattooed on my back. It's a pay to win battle pass gamer. 
Nova. I don't understand. Angela's our way of winning the right, and we're going to Craven the left. That's the game plan here. They know we have Craven, though. I think we revealed Craven a few games ago. Well, the right looks very, very secure with Craven. Or with. Oh, flip. With um, Electra, rather. The squirrel goes a little controversial though, because it is going to move in a squirrel. Different deck. Yeah, you might be right. What's going on here? They're playing this weirdly. Because all does the business here, I think. It's enough. I'm not able to hold. If I want to play Kazar, I have to play it in this lane because of Clintar and the Angela buff. This looks good for us, no? The Craven doing his thing. <sighs> Scared of Enchantress a bit. But that's why I'm thinking I can Iron Man mid next turn. Put Craven in you, could be right. Kazar scary. Kazar left is particularly scary. We could lose the Kazar left here. Might be a loss, ladies and gents. We might have met our match. We might have met our maker. Stole our AQ, stole our AQs back. No. No, it's Freddy, Freddy. I don't think there is ever the fucking record for this. He's tried. Uh, might be, that might be the end. We'll see. Fucking Whiskey, dude. The last boss. If Whiskey wasn't playing right now, we'd be queuing into a bot. But he loves it, so whatever. Definitely happy to gamble on eight cubes, man. Angela never dies in danger, trust me. Why not Iron Man left? Well, if they played Kazar mid, you would have said, why not Iron Man mid? <laughs> Does that answer your question? Get in. Mate, super flow three games in a row. That's a bit sus. I know. No, I'm not snipe for sure. If people just queue into the same game, then um, it just happens, right? Guys, like, just because we're queuing into each other doesn't mean he's stream sniping. Need to like play around the Enchantress. Obviously playing the blue marble here into Superflow feels pretty bad. They make the same kind of decision though. We can Iron Man the left perhaps. They're gonna Enchantress right. But we look okay. Even against an Enchantress we might be alright.
think we got it. Pretty sure. Unless it all goes wrong in the danger room. Oh, they got four buffs to the left. Shouldn't matter. It's kind of scary though, I can't lie. It's pretty scary. I think we're good though. Thank you, Whiskey. I'll be taking my cubes back, son. Nice try, Ben Brode. <gasps> Victory. I'm happy to play Whiskey again. Nova needed to die. All oh, right. Oh, for flip's sake, Whiskey. Mate, we already know that Danger Room... Sh uh, Superflow. Surely not four times in a row, right? Whiskey is the final boss before the bot onslaught, I think. It's actually kind of bad we're going into whiskey probably because it could be bots, but if we're winning eight cube games, then it's all good, right? Just don't lose. Come on, hot location, we need you. Guys, praise in the chat for the hot location. Oh, they know what's coming up. It's the hot location. Come on, you fucking little wanker. Fucking go, mate. Chat, this is because you praged. Craven is popping the flipping heck off right now, dude. How did Freddy do fucking 50 cubes in 34 minutes? What was that guy smoking that day? It looks like it's a, just a four cube of this one because we're so far ahead because of the power of Craven. 14 for two. Not bad. Oh, he's pumping. I almost feel bad. Like, this feels like he just threw I am. I am. intentionally, which I don't want. I don't want Whiskey's cubes anymore. Victory. I don't want Whiskey's cubes anymore, guys. It's official. I want off this train. I want no part of this. Let's go. We might be at bot MMR, guys. It might be finally fucking time for the bot MMR. Okay. We can do this. We can absolutely do this, guys. This is super doable. I think. I think it's super doable. So we just want to keep stacking the lane because of bot snaps. The problem is we're going to be so far ahead in this lane they're unlikely to uh, snap back. But Iron Man on Avengers Compound could be our cheeky way of getting the snap from them. I think they won't because they also have nothing in Bifrost. 
think snap is not going to ever happen here. So we should consider maybe not going Iron Man. Because I can't Enchantress my own Iron Man. But we're going to go for a still, whatever. We can go Nightcrawler move, Squirrel Girl, Ant-Man. Plus a one drop. Uh oh. Please snap. Whiskey without rock, without ice. Whiskey found on the rocks. I like it, guys. Good job. 12 minutes. Bear in mind, we were nine minutes behind going into this split, so. And the next split is. Freddy's next split, he slowed down significantly. He did this one in 34 minutes. The next one is like, what, 44 or something? 43. Oh my god, it's Jane Foster. Please don't mill my... I don't know. My Craven, I guess, if I see the hot location. Definitely a bot. We've hit bot MMR, ladies and gents. This this is the big part we choked on, man. This, is, this was the key part. Just before bot MMR, we just started taking too long. This one is definitely looking good for us. We just need to think how we can try and get the snap manipulation through her. We don't care about drawing anything else, so we'll find to play Kazaha. We're hoping that they play right and somehow put a point mid as well. Something like that. Oh my god. It happened. Please snap on me, Jane Foster. Now the problem with Blue Marvel here is Blue Marvel puts me ahead mid. I think I just have to go for it. It's too good not to. Oh my god, they played mid. Let's go. All eyes on Grand Central. We want it to pull something bad so we're not ahead, right? We don't want it to hit Blue Marvel. It's pretty okay. They should snap here. They're ahead in two out of three. Hmm. That's a bit sus. Saucy Baka. What do we do? I don't know. Let's do this. Nine minutes. Victory. How many cubes? 17 cubes. It's not gonna happen. We're gonna go we're gonna go into the next one behind, but if we're gonna be five minutes behind, we've got a very, very good chance of doing it. This bit's taken us twenty-five minutes so far. Is that right? No. Second way less than that. We're on a fucking rampage right now. Snap. Just 
Just in case it's not a bot, we ask them to snap. Bollocks. We need to start stacking the lanes to try and get my bot opponent to snap on me if they are in fact the bot. Kind of scary. Now, it looks like we might be getting snapped on. This is big. This is big. Electro mid is popping off. There it is. I think we've got it. I think we've got the AQ bar. Oh my god. Guys, we might be about... <gasps> I am fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We might be about to hit the record. We might beat him. Guys, we might be him, we might be him, we might be him. Oh my god. Despite the absolute calamity that happened around rank 70, the consistency across the other ranks, the bot farming tactics, the deck at the early game, we just didn't switch to Zoo quick enough. Ever since we made the switch to Zoo and we hit the Squirrel Girl, oof. We might actually go ahead. Guys, we were nine minutes behind going into his quickest split that I think he did. I didn't do the exact maths on it, but 34 minutes, I don't think he's... That. He did a he did a 24 minute one. In fairness. 30 to 40. Unless that's what I did. Might be the split I did. I don't know how this shit works. <laughs> Sentinel, please. Looks like a bot, but we've had a very bad opening hand. Sentinel or Craven, please. Well, Iron Man wins right. I can. I guess I'm just gonna still Enchantress the right. Iron Man, then maybe an overcommit to the right. I don't know how I feel about snapping here. Mate, I'm playing so much better now though. Oh, flip. I'm playing so much better now than I was a while ago, which is quite sad. That I wasn't playing this smoothly earlier on. But it's a good lesson for next time. We've learned a lot from this run. We can definitely, definitely improve the time. Even if we break the record, we can shave off an hour, I reckon. Wow. Let's go for it. Let's just say Enchantress is cheat. I am Iron Man. It's a win. As long as it's not putting points mid, it's a win.
Let's fucking go. It's an eight Cuba. Chat. It's an eight Cuba. Oh my god. We are going to be neck and bloody neck going in. But we look. it looks like we're going to have the flipping lead, chat. We're doing it. We're actually doing it. I can't believe it. It's, this is coming out of nowhere. It looked like all was lost. We're being very defeatist, but we broke through the bot MMR. Mama Omar. It was a bit of a butt clencher, you're right. We're at the bottom of our mate. We can't go wrong. It's ours to lose. It's a bot, so they probably play into Atalan. I don't think bots play into Unrevealed. We just have nothing to play then. Looking good. Looking very, very good. Fortunately, Atalan is actually a bit of a pain here. My hand is sauce. Mate, Freddy and I are absolutely neck and neck. This is insane. Get in. Now, we really need to try to manipulate a snap here, but it's not going to be easy. <gasps> That's bloody rude, isn't it? Maybe we're not interested in manipulating a snap. Maybe we just need to play for play to win. God. Controversial decision making here. Didn't really need to move the night crawler either. Does Blue Marvel just win here? We need a one drop. Oh, we missed the one drop. Oh no, chat. Blue Marvel here plays for five. Think we're good. Oh, they play two fucking cards. It's a cheat bot. Cheat bot. Looks like we're actually going to be going in to the last split behind. We were beating APOC either way they played it. We were correct to play this on, but... Now, in my previous runs, when you queue into one cheating bot, it's quite common to queue into a bunch in a row. You have like little pockets of cheating bots. So that's something we need to be very wary of now. Electra Mojo World. We want to stay out of Mojo World to get the snap as well. A cheating bot is a bot. It's just a nickname from the community, right? Um, a cheating bot is a bot which on turn number three has a uh, six has Daredevil vision, and if it has a play which can win, it will make it. But those they also won't retreat if they don't, right? Bots only retreat if they have like no winning play possible on board. Where's the Electra man? Come on. Get in there. We're behind, going into the last segment. But. He did slow down quite a bit, and bear in mind we were nine minutes behind. So if we can be like five minutes behind, we're well on target, basically compared, you know, for this last little twenty cubes or ten cubes, a hundred cubes, together eventually. Do I want to Iron Man? Kind of. And then hope that they don't big brain the Electra play. I am. Or Enchantress us. Fuck, 
Okay, Electra's not even good here, mate. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Might be a loss if they can play all three. Enchantress, does that also beat us? Oh god, why did they play right chat? Two minutes behind. <laughs> this is so. This is also a cheat bot, most likely. But again, they can't retreat if they don't have a winning play on turn six. Because they could have, like Hulk left, could have won, right? But the reason they played on is because it was a cheater bot, basically. But they looked at what I did and realized that Hulk right made it close, a closer game, because I was like a hundred points ahead to the left. Not sure I played this too hot. I definitely didn't. I messed up. Fuck. Might be losing. This is a big throw. Because now I have a screw and bar. Shite. I actually have two in bar. I'm so bad at the game. I messed up. Well. It is what it is, I guess. My Craven buffed by zero points on Bifrost. It's just all gone horribly, horribly wrong. Devastating. This might be all she wrote, ladies and gents. This might be the end of the road. I am Iron Man. Yep. You fucking Wally, mate. Escaped. Unacceptable. Slipping away from us. It's slipping away. Yeah, look at this. 60 to 70 is where it all went wrong. What? Victory. This eight Cuba to the cheating bot is such a heartbreaker, man. We would have just been feeling so good. We would have gone ahead at rank 80. Oh, let's not forget Freddy's, uh, the last segment was a lot longer than this one. This one was 34, the next one's 40. Three. Oh, wow, okay. Seems like a really bad play. I'm really hoping we can get a snap from them soon. Very likely they play something like Iron Man, Blue Marvel here, into Sinister. We need you to go left, Enchantress. Enchantress. Big. Big, big, big. Man, where are my cards? Iron Man, Blue Marvel. Where are you? Please. For the love of all that is holy, man. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, the problem is they're actually going to concede here unless they have blue marble exactly. Get in, let's go. They have blue marble exactly. Look at that knowledge. Because the bot concedes if they don't have a winning play, but they did have a winning play on Blue Marvel. Victory. Potentially winning play, that is. Alright, we shaved off 2 minutes 20. Oh, mate, we've got so much longer than I realised. Fucking hell. I'm looking at it like... So the final speed, it was 31 minutes. Oh my god. We have 2 to go. Because there's like this gap in my speed run, I was thinking we were much closer than we actually are. Oh god. You have to play flawlessly. We're about an hour off, so we need 30 minutes per... 30 minutes per 50 cubes. It's 100 cubes in an hour. It's doable. We caught up with him a little on that last segment. Probably should have just slammed the Electra already because... I can't hold on to it until 5. Wow. Did I eat? Yeah, I had an apple and a yogurt. But I already ate quite a lot earlier and I'm ready for bed. I also, like I ate just before I stream. I had uh, some eggs on toast. And I've had lots of water. Mm, not looking good. I mean, the good news is Iron Man isn't very good to the left. Bloody hell. What do I do? What do I bloody do, mate? This is horrible. I am running away. We might just be losing. Yeah, we just lose. Fuck off. Okay, I've done the maths right. This is so frustrating, this one. How did this even happen, man? Filled up the right lane too much, I guess. This is punished. Gotta keep believing. I don't think we've got it, guys. We just like this is the this is the part of Freddy's run that's the best, and we're neck and neck, right? We need to be ahead. Significant, like there's so much room to be so far ahead by this point. Freddy's run is not that good at all. This has been a really bad run for me, and it's still very close. Not to discredit his run, it's just incredibly beatable. I was not happy with really. The only time I was really happy with was like the middle. Obviously, there's one glaring issue where we're 40 fucking minutes behind him. It's been the biggest issue. On this split, 50 minutes we lost. But yeah, we can we can be way further than 53 minutes ahead going into rank four. We can be like nearly an hour and a half ahead, I think. Oh, it's also looking pretty good though. Not enough mouth breathing. Yeah, true. Odin Enchantress OP.
This play reminds me of what Bane used to do way back in the day. You're watching Freddy when he made the record? Interesting. This, the early part is particularly weak. It's the end that's super strong, right? Yeah, this has not been a smooth run. I mean, it's been okay. I think we just got like... There's that one period which is just sticking out like a sore thumb, right? And I think we just needed to make the switch from Hulk Iron Man to Kazoo quicker. We have hit all the cards this run. We hit the Squirrel Girl very late on. But apart from that, we've hit everything. And that's like the other thing, right? That can kill runs early on. This is if you just don't hit the cards. There's a bot, you can tell because I snapped and they instantly responded. How to be around in terms of content creation? I mean, the views are really nice, um, but no one's been posting YouTube videos, which is very foolish. I'm supposed to have posted my original run on YouTube a long time ago. But yeah, like my uh, viewership is like way up on Twitch in the speed run, so. My, my intention is to do one each month. I just haven't done them, like I say, recently because there's issues making new accounts. Conlon value, potentially. Yeah, we're now at bot MMR because my MMR is so high at the... My MMR is so high, my hidden MMR, and I can only queue into people at pool one. Not sure this was correct at all to play my Electra. I was supposed to just play my Enchantress, right? It's a horrible play. It might cost me the series, the game, the run. I'm flagging, mate. This is so bad. Because I'm wanting to. It's, it's so tricky because you want to be quick, but you also need to play well. This is not playing well. Unfortunately. Hopefully they electro me now, that gives me a fighting chance. Heartbreaking, mate. I think the run's over, guys. This has been too slow. I played this really badly. No excuse. Really, really badly. I think now that we're playing um, Squirrel Girl as well, like Squirrel Girl is pretty horrendous for this location. The location's like more harming us than anything, although we do have the Craven popping off. Bots don't tend to play an unreveal, but that is just a theory I have. Just start over now. No thanks. <laughs> It is still doable, but we have to fix up and quickly. It's not my first run. It's my first run in a long time, though. Yeah, like I said, I'm the previous world record holder.
We want to lecture this on the last turn, that's for sure. Not sure the squirrel go is that big brain either. I keep slamming squirrel go and I'm not really sure it's doing too much for me. Gonna end up losing the other two, right? Blue Marvel, Kazar are what we're looking for here, desperately. Looks like a loss. Might be okay, it's close. I think we lose, even with the Iron Man, we have barely any points. Yeah, Iron Man. Ant-Man was better as well, right? What a choke, man. Alright, run over, I'm calling it, guys. It was a good attempt. I'm calling it. Giving up. I'm ready for bed. I think we're going to try again tomorrow. I think we're going to try again tomorrow. And we're going to do it. It was an okay effort. But Freddy just got, like, his best time of the run is the end, right? The start is what sucks. But we just... Unfortunately, bottled it a bit. But, yeah, probably if I am able to do the speedrun tomorrow, it'll be an earlier start because um, my football team have got, like, a relegation match in the evening. So thank you so much for watching the stream. I really appreciate it. Hopefully see you guys again tomorrow. Uh, if I am able to do it, I'm going to be alive uh, bright and early around. We could just do an early start. I could just wake up and go to the gym and then go. So yeah. If I'm at uh, Everton. If I'm able to do it tomorrow, which I hope to be able to, I will start. my. I have to start my stream. I might not be able to do it tomorrow now I think about it. Uh, I don't think I can do it tomorrow. It's unrealistic. I will be streaming tomorrow though. Still early. We'll just do the next um, speed run next month. Every month we'll do a speed run. Also, if you guys are interested, the next speed run I will do, and I need to prepare myself for it, is on Tuesday, on the release of the new season, I am going to try and get rank 100 in one sitting. So I've got a long ass stream on Tuesday. Tomorrow I'll just do like a shorter stream. I've got a sponsored segment I need to do, so... That's why I can't speed run tomorrow. Yeah, I really appreciate you guys hanging out. I really enjoyed the stream. Thanks so much for all the support. We had that crazy sub train earlier as well. I really appreciate everyone hanging out, supporting. Have a lovely rest of your evening. And we're going to find someone to raid.